If you're to come back, if we're to use the ritual we spoke of, this is when it starts. A good day to you, my love. Lord, wilt thou also slay the righteous? And a good day to you too. Benedict, my friend, forgive me. He resorted to eating him, eating him to survive. pretty excited for this so let's do it so obviously we're gonna pick story and then we're gonna turn this off to enjoy the intro so get hyped Madam, sir, the ship lies at anchor off New Eden. A tender stands at your disposal. Dreamed of clouds, great long fluffy bastards, low over the sea. I dreamed of the abyss, in the darkest reaches of the deepest ocean. A good day to you, my love. And a good day to you, too. Are we in New England? <sighs> Welcome to America. Something is bothering you. Charles's letter. What of it? The graphics are so nice. The ghost must be uncommonly dangerous, or he would banish it himself. Then we shall charge him double. <sighs> I'm serious. If the Reverend needs help, this can be no easy business. Red, you best be ready. I'll be careful, Master Duarte. Your apprentice ready to serve. Come on, Atea, we need to go. Night be. <laughs> Rory McWraith, gallant to the last. Life to the living, death to the dead. I love it. Consider our lovers, Antea and Red, the greatest banishers I ever knew. Life to the living, we say, and death to the dead. It is not so simple. Since the dawn of humanity, the dead have lingered. Dead as alive, we are complex and emotional beings. Many and tangled are the ties that bind. Since the beginning of memory, banishers have fought to sever those ties. Death is but a trifle. It comes to us all, to haunt or be haunted. There lies the true horror. 
I, Charles Davenport, should know it. The haunting of New Eden scared me to death. I dearly wish I had not begged my friends to come and lift the curse. It's like, my god, what is gonna happen here? <laughs> New Eden, June 7th, 1695. If this is June, I'd hate to see January. I wanted to freeze my backside off in the summertime. I'd have stayed in Scotland. London wasn't much better. Look at it. It's cold as a bishop's arse. And twice as white. I don't mind saying it, I'm very disappointed. Charles wasn't lying. New Eden is cold as death. You may well be disappointed. It's very eerie. You'd better be at the tavern. With a hot grog. Or two. Or two. Wait. We have arrived. Hello. I'm doing okay, how are you? Okay, so attacks. Heavy. I think I weary of long, boring sea voyages to grim faraway lands. I can't remember the Dodges. last time we did this something is... else than work. It's gonna be great. After this, we should set sail somewhere warm and safe. <gasps> the dead don't linger. No such place. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. But it's not a bad idea. Whoosh, whoosh. Oh, yeah, I can tell already this is gonna be a pain in my butt. <laughs> I mentioned how grim this place is. I heard you the first time. Yeah, look at this. But I don't disagree. She's so cute. You doing good? Glad to hear. Okay, wait. I'm gonna move in a second here. Sorry. And... Yeah, that's good, that's good. That is good. Sorry, sorry. Okay, that is the run. Okay, so this is as far as we got yesterday. I think we can get through here. Who fuck sure. is? Let's go traipsing through the rotten falling down house. Okay, and before we go in. Looks steady enough. Let's just get a little bit more caffeine. Watch out! Ugh. Is it just me or are we not welcome here? We're not welcome. Keep going. I'll find a way to meet up with you. Over eager apprentices. So what am I? I can break my way through here. Ah, 
Oh, that's what you meant by breakable? Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, he's over there, okay. Tried. Oh boy. Oh! Everything alright down there? Just a sneaky wanderer. You? Same, but I managed. Jeez. Are these spectres watching the road? Maybe, but are they keeping people outside town? Or are they keeping them in? What do we got? Dear cousin, this farce that is new Eden Town has gone on long enough. You tried, you tried all you could to make it work, to build something there, but if the words you send me are true, then by God, take your wife and your precious children, pack your belongings, and leave this ungodly place. Come to Providence and live with us. There is far more here, and Simone and I will gladly take you until you find a place of your own. Please, I beg you, come to us. We are family, and the children will be safe here. John James, Providence, 8th of September, 1694. I mean, that ghost kind of caught me off guard there. Leather. Okay. Break that? Okay. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, more wanderers. Behind you. Pay attention. Jeez. Easy as falling off a box. Oh, don't be so cocky. Tell how long these people are dead. The original settlers, perhaps. Whoever, this doesn't bode well. Okay. Oh, our distance is a little bit further than I expected here. Slow. Attacking with your weapons fills the banish gauge. When the banish gauge is filled, press E to banish. Time to leave for good. Whoa! Oh! Spirit. Spectral dust. And whatever that is, leather. Yeah. Oh. More a leather. Uh yeah, here. I know damp and bloody. Perhaps these words will be lost in time, but I must write them. To date I cannot say. I know it is the month of June in the year sixteen ninety five. I thought we would be safer in Providence. I thought we would finally see the children again. And the golden wheat fields would ring with their laughter. Their mother now lies dead, and I shall join her soon. Something insidious walks the roads. Terrible spirits took us. New Eden is cursed. You who reads this now, I tell you to run. These people left New Eden town just a few days ago. What exactly is going on here? A curse, clearly.
Enough. I was like, well, that guy's clearly stronger than me. Not nice. Oh. But did I kind of say, it tells you the date. <laughs> More or less, she just means that like she's not a hundred percent sure on if it was the right That's date or not. Let's wait to hear what Charles has to say. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. She's confused. Okay, she's being hunted by demons. God. Empty docks in a growing settlement. Nothing but a good sign. The town selectmen sitting on their asses. Isn't that what selectmen do? I don't know what's worse the ghost killing everybody? Or this dreary ice knee, knee cold? <laughs> the icy cold. When we cold. get to town, we may need to split up to cover more ground. You may count on the most responsible student a banisher could have. We'll see if you remember some of your teaching. If you're up for it. Always. Don't split up! The hell bums their own throat? They were leaving because of disease and starvation. They thought it was doomsday. I saw the same thing happen at home. Someone needs to teach them the rules. Hello! Those dead icy knees. Like, clearly they don't realize the rules of a horror game, right? A horror movie? Never split up. Hey, I can't just jump over that. Feels bad. Stick together. Jesus. Okay, so much for sitting together. Where the hell did he go? <laughs> Boston for Jericho, the Harrow's Hamlet. Okay, I'm gonna assume he went... Oh, there he is. That answered my question. What's up? Were you reading the same sign that I was reading? Not the busiest stables I've ever seen. No ostler and no horses. If they burned their crops and ran out of food, then they probably ate the horses. Okay, he did. Yeah, this place is abandoned. Everybody's dead. Ish. Deadish. Seems about right, right? Can't say how long they're gonna be dead for. But you know, the deadish. Susanna, it's been days since we ate. Each day the town empties further. Folk would soon risk the cold and stay. The minister said help was on its way, but I do not know how much time we have left, or how much time before the next sickness takes us all. I shall trust my neighbor with this letter in the hope that it will reach you. If nothing changes, I'll try to cross the woods myself. I hear folks assemble bands. The better to safely brave the wilderness. May God help us. Sarah. People are leaving. The town is emptying. Stay on your guard. He's like, yes, honey. Yes. Okay, I, I need more caffeine for this investigation. Okay. I'm ready. And also, I thought they said it was split up. And now suddenly he's like following me again. Wait, where did I come from? I'm lost. Wait. Okay, we're good. I'm good. My eyes are not working today, though. Oh my god, they hurt so much.
I'm saying it's time. I mean, people that are leaving, what gave it away? Exactly. New Eden Town. Hmm. Like, it doesn't look very new. Hello! Discovered! Well, welcome in committee. Let's find the inn. Let's find Charles. Y'all, you're not gonna find Charles. Charles probably got eaten by one of the creatures. Bye bye. Hello there. How's it going? It'd be good to see Charles and Esther again. <laughs> Would you like on the same thing? Are they Esther wouldn't dare. And we don't need a piece of paper to keep us together. I, I remember you telling her. Semi decent. This is the first test. Hubby put the new um the new card in. So fingers crossed that was the only issue. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. I was like, what the hell is this? Area of investigation. You have reached the location of your current objective. Your compass now indi indicates that you're inside an area of investigation. Look for the inn. I know, the inn's like right there. I seen the candle. I love when games try to this whole investigate that's like they'd have your character look at it everyone and go, this person is dead. No shit, Sherlock. Exactly. Because of your piece of rank for the whole year at least. Me too. Me too. See, the investigator in me wants to keep going forward. Oh, maybe this is not the end. Oh, okay, sorry, dude. I'm just being a creeper in your window. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Hello? Hello? No? Okay, he's completely ignoring me. Okay, we see a dude there. The inn, the docks, and the cemetery. Ma'am? Oh, I guess that's how they greet uh, new people. It looks like you can't do much. Okay. That has a bit of a you to get comfortable. Maybe the bed's cursed. Maybe there's a ghost on his bed. Holy shit, this town is huge! No food here. Who says I was looking for food? I was looking for shiny objects. The floorboard? It makes sense. See? Shiny objects. See? See? Oh ho ho! See, y'all got no food, but I found other. Take that. Oh, I think it's something shiny. Let's take the boat back. Dude, I would have took the boat back. I would never even have come here. As soon as I received that letter, I would have been like, yo, no, everybody's dead. Fuck it. We're not going. These people are going to be going to rob them. <laughs> Warning, the docks are closed for sabotage by fire. I'll trade to Boston. Marblehead Salem ETC is cut until the saboteur is caught. Seems about right. We should ask someone where to find the inn. Oh, listen! We'll find the inn after. We're good. Okay, just let me explore. Oh ho! Money! Y'all were rich.
My accent or her accent? I know the husband talked about Scotland earlier. Mine, I have no idea. What did it sound like? Okay. Who the hell puts leather there? Whatever, I'm not gonna judge you guys, but... It can be whatever accent you want it to be. <laughs> Okay, that, that I'm not no gonna read. No fire starts on its own. Not in this cold. Something must have given her a helping hand. Fresh off the hook. Let me you pronounce... Are just here? <laughs> Maybe you're just hearing weird shit. PC's going. Going. Knock on wood, we are good. Okay, it looks like I got all the shiny objects from this place. Eventually, right? After we circle the whole town and, and plunder everything. Town can't be that big. See, 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 we're already back into the circle. Okay, who's this lady? Are you, is she the lady that, that ran away from me earlier? Ma'am! You'll be the banishers then. Come too late. I'm sorry, but if poor Minister Davenport mentioned your names, I have forgotten them. Ante Duarte. This fellow here is Red McGraith. Of course. I'm Lisbeth O'Hara. The minister said you'd have questions. Well? I don't trust her. What are you doing out here? Most people seem to stay indoors. Since you ask, I came to town to buy a remedy for Mistress Fitcher. My sister has a sore leg. The salve eases her discomfort. We have a small farm, some miles from here. And yes, the curse sits Killer. there too. <laughs> Could you point us to the tavern? We're expected. The King's Arms. I'll not point it out to you as I disapprove of drinking. Oh. It's the large building, next to the gallows. Thank you. You may have your time back, with my thanks. Well, thank the Lord for that. Um... Definitely good guys. Probably. Potentially. Are you judging me again because I'm stealing things from them? I mean, with me controlling them, I'd say probably gray area would be the safest bet. Probably. And they, they haven't paid to steal away. Well, cause I'm pretty sure the guy that sent the letter is already dead. Maybe. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but you know. I got a bad feeling about it. Also, why do you have the inn right next to the gallows, guys? I feel like you're just, like, telling me something. It, he probably has some really good stuff. He probably has, like, the ultimate shiny objects in his house. Okay. Cause there's the 
do sometimes like the ads. When I opened your stream, I saw a big golden retriever face, which was cozy to see. Dog who Gerudo, aww! There's the end. <laughs> Didn't they do good sometimes? <laughs> Coffee's obligate obligatory? Yes. Definitely. Hello, sir. Get out of my way. Well, that's not very nice. That's it! I'm not saving any of these villagers. They're all on my shit list. Meeting house, schoolhouse, docks, cemetery. The cemetery is closed by order of the uh, governor. The governor. The path to the meeting house is closed by the governor's decree. Can we just kill the governor then? Curfew. In hours of darkness, stay in your homes. No discord, no turmoil. Hmm. A curfew? But why? But why? Because... Oh, the first resort of every self-respecting oppressor. Drinking my latte macchiato from your cup. Oh, there we go. Your order coffee and breakfast? Hell yeah. Okay, so this is the building that we need to enter. Wait. Wait. Oh, never mind. Okay, I was gonna say, how do I get this? <laughs> oh, when, when, when the path is blocked. And you can't figure out what you're doing. I really thought we said we were splitting up when we got into town, but yet he's been latched to my hip this entire time. Hello? I must take a moment by myself. Excuse me. Oh yeah, because clearly what you're doing is so important. That's okay, fine. Great. Mm. Sets the door. Okay, I think we're good. Maybe. Let's go to the inn. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Oh, oh. Follow the rats. They know something. See? They knew. Okay, look at this. I'm gonna be rich by the time we're done this. Charlie, we're here. Your prayers are answered. Poor as a drink. Finally. Banish it. Please, come in. As it is called, your serving woman may sit while we talk. I'm the help. She's the boss. You're not Charles. My name is Antea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McWraith. Good day to you, sirs, madam. Now, where's Charles? Minister Davenport said help was on its way. I assume. Keep digging, Fairfax. Good day. Pennington, captain of the train band. I don't like him. This here is thick skinned Newsmith. We're the selectmen. <laughs> What's left of us? Why is Charles not here? We're sorry for your loss. We'll do what we can for his widow. The Reverend is dead. When? How? A terrible tragedy. Though our faith sustains us, we are still very much in shock. I told you! Our shock at Reverend Davenport's killing is so great that we must sit here in comfort, losing precious time. As governor of the colony of New Eden, it is my responsibility. Oh, look at us. Sat here waiting to meet the same fate. We could all be miles away by now. You lot do what you want. I intend living. Goodbye. The esteemed select woman can be <coughs> brusque. Forgive her. 
Rest assured that her aptitudes far outweigh her manners. Or lack thereof. Her point still stands, Fairfax. Sitting here, doing nothing, we are as lambs to the slaughter. The banishers are here. Surely, with their expertise, we may yet prevail. Then I shall leave you in your expertise in ghosts and devils to find out. My expertise in blood and battle is of little use. Mistress Duarte, if I can be of service, yous may visit me at home. On the other side of the street, as it were. Okay. Well, Governor, shall you leave or shall you stay? For myself, I'll stay. <clears throat> Our company has suffered terribly. But we are worth saving. And now that you are here, save it we shall. Please, accept my sincerest condolences for the loss of your friend. We feel the loss of our minister so very keenly. Charles Davenport was a man of great knowledge and devotion. The pride, indeed, of New Eton. It discommodes me greatly to remember how he found his body in the cemetery. Indeed, it distresses me yet further to tell you that we do not know what so tragically cost him his life. Could your physicians not save him? Would that we had a physician left, but it would have made no difference. Charles was dead when we found him, and we do not know how or why. One or two among our company have knowledge of the physic. Purples, they said. Rupture, strangery, or sadness? Guesses all. Okay. As a man of science in New Eden, I stand alone. You see, in my youth, I too was something of a demonologist. Rather a good one, if I say so myself. We're not demonologists, and neither was Charles. Is his widow Esther taking visitors? The widow Davenport is at home, and does not much venture out. Their house overlooks the dock. I offered Charles a home with a view across a pretty meadow, but he refused. He preferred the village life. Speak to her, if she'll see you. But she knows no more than we do about how her husband died. Okay. You're a demonologist, you say? I am that, like my father was before me. Faith and science are our twin compasses, you see, to a deeper understanding of the secrets of God's green and pleasant land, and those who threaten it. And what have your compasses told you about the curse? They have told me... They have told me that Reverend Davenport was better placed than I to solve our problem. Which is why you're here. We agreed it. I shall stand for the company, I said, as the moral authority, the anchor, and the rock, as Charles and his banishers lift the curse. Heroic work all round. Indeed it is, madam. Indeed it is. But we do it all the same, because we must. Right. Because we must. He's got a good point. Why is town so empty? Of those who did not die, we are the few who stayed. Though our motivations may differ, all who remain have shown extraordinary faith and courage in the face of our adversity. Those who left, where did they go? Boston, outlying settlements, anywhere, everywhere. Although, as you may have heard, the weather has likely closed the roads. Some believe the pass through the dark woods offers salvation. I do not. I believe we must stand our ground. Wait, why are you giggling? Will they return when the curse is lifted? I fervently hope so. They have homes here. 
but we sent the children away some time ago, and many could not live with their absence. If we do not resolve this situation quickly, the community of New Eden shall be broken, perhaps forever. What can you tell me about the curse? I can tell you that it has been our misery for many long months now. And I can tell you that it worsens by the increment. First, there was pestilence and disease. Then came the nightmares. Then came madness. In the end came death. And death remains. But in all honesty, <laughs> I think the weather is the worst part. The this never-ending winter hangs heavy on us all. Worse yet, it traps us here. That sounds horrible. What did Charles know about it? What had he learned? Tragically, I had not yet had the opportunity to discuss his investigation. And his passing now excludes the possibility. Our late friend Charles faced a Herculean task and acquitted himself with honor. You will have to do far better than that. I'm afraid. Our contract stands. If you'll have it, yes. Our contract stands. For Charles. All right. For Charles. Thank you. We have what we need. Then I wish you success. Thank you. By my instruction, a room is prepared for you in the old schoolhouse. I'll be here if you need me. Did the old schoolhouse? That doesn't sound good. Oh. Who wants to go to an old schoolhouse? The inn's owner noticed. As announced at the last time home meeting, I hereby close the King's Arms Taverns, leaving the key to the selectmen. There shall be no ale sold nor drunk until the curse is lifted and I return. The storerooms are locked and so are the bedrooms. God bless. What? Dude. Pretty sure we could break the locks on these doors. Okay, so we gotta go find Davenport's wife. Okay, never mind. I thought I'd seen something. Damn Wait. it, Charles. Those accursed sea storms. If only we'd been here earlier. No, no. But as Charles would say, another day, another soul to save. These people have no idea what they're up against. Look at me being nice and not calling them idiots. See, see, I could be I could be nice sometimes. Sometimes. <sighs> and here, red. Come in. <laughs> I've barely slept for fear you would not come. Oh boy. 
I'm at a loss. Would God even allow me to drag you into these... these dark times? Esther, you're not alone now. We're here. I'm so sorry we didn't get here. <coughs> Good morning. Truly. I know. Charles kept saying it. Have faith. They will come. If only he had kept his faith himself. What happened to him? Poor Charles. Just one more victim of the curse of New Eden. You know how he is. Was. Restless. Impatient. It's not that he gave up on you, his friends. But that he could wait no more. I believe he tried to lift the curse. I too have questions. But I have no answers. Nor do I now have a husband. Is there anything we should Tell know me. about? Lord, deliver me, for I cannot endure this. I cannot endure it, and Charles does not deserve it. Anything at all, Esther. Please. I have felt Charles present about the house. His ghost lingers. He needs help. If he's here, I promise I will know no rest until he has his. You can count on us. We'll start with the house. Charles's papers are gathered in his office. Take what you need. Thank you, Esther. We'll take a look around, if that's all right. May I be of any help? Mm, stay put. We'll find the way. You have unlocked your first hint. It contains important information about the person it's linked to. You can refer to these hints at any given moment through your Haunting Cases menu tab. Oh, okay, cool. A new Scotch tune in G major by Henry Purcell. Purcell? Could you find nothing better? These days I lack the heart to play. I believe you brought your piano forte to New England. It cost a fortune. But you cannot part a pianist from their beloved keys. How pleasant to see these old familiar things from your house in London. That porcelain saw many a dinner turned lecture with Charles. I miss him so. So do we, Esther. My sweet Esther, I was down and yet you were there to support me. You are an angel from heaven to help me in my dark mission. You are the light that guides me through the darkness of the invisible. And yet I feel so sorry for bringing you into this to the tortured land. You know well that things are not as they should be in New Eden, and I am sorry to have you by my side, for I fear for your life. I wish we could have found a quiet corner of this land there to raise our children, but I fear a curse. I think we should leave, or perhaps you should go ahead while I defend our home. Think about it, but I... For I cannot bear the thought of darkness taking you away from me. I long to hold you in my arms. The announcement of our marriage was to my heart as a delicacy on my palate, a sweet of which one cannot tire. At last we shall be together, and together forever and ever, until the day many years from now when we are old and at last death separates us. For only death can extinguish the love between us, and I am sure that not even death can undo the tenderness I feel for you. I want everything to be perfect for our marriage, and I will make it so. I will write you every day until that blessed moment where I can finally shed the weight of letters and tell you in person every day how I feel about you. Where are you staying, my dears? The governor had a room prepared for us in the schoolhouse. The schoolhouse? Wouldn't you rather stay here? You'd be more comfortable. It's very kind, but a long day ahead of us. I don't want to bother you. I don't have much. But promise me you'll come for dinner tomorrow. For all time's sake. Of course. I can't tell you how much I long to get home. This work in the mystical Scottish Highlands is exciting. I can't argue with that. But I miss the sweetness of our home. However, I know that the few months I have left away from your loving arms will be of great benefit to me. 
Through this experience, I will increase my knowledge and all this I do to protect you from those dark worlds that swirl around us. It is your love and trust that pushes me into these mysterious entrenchments that pushes me to do my best. It is for you that I do this. For when I can see the pride in your eyes, then I know that what role I play on this earth. I know that I can be stronger. I know that I can do anything as long as you look at me with that sparkle that is only yours. Aw, cute. Some food and ale for you. Sorry for the loss. Your neighbors hold you in their hearts. A door. This is Charles's. It's like he never left. A jacket. Have you received other visitors? Most dare not leave their homes. Although Mr. Bachelor came to see me. That was nice of him. Mr. Bachelor? Mm-hmm. My dearest Charles, how delighted I was to read your words. It is always a pleasure to hear from you, and I know that yourself and your beloved Esther are doing well. I have contacted our brothers in London, but unfortunately we could not find anything in our archives that matches the description of the events you have experienced in New Eden. Be, as that, be that as it may, pestilence and never-ending winters are a phenomena perhaps too broad for us to pinpoint the exact cause. I can give you no better answer. Be it sorcery, the presence of an ichor, or something else entirely we cannot say. All I can do is invite you to continue your research and to take note of all of your observations. Our Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole has so little presence in the New World, any new information shall be precious indeed. I didn't know Elnor and Charles were still in touch. The St. Paul Brotherhood is a tie that binds. Charles was so eager to continue his research here in New Eden. If only we had known what would befall us. Well, if you knew what would befall you... Hello, then you wouldn't have come here. Charles is still here and Esther is completely distraught. She lost him and now he's back, a ghastly figure. It must be unbearable. Charles is brooch. Charles always wore this brooch. His things are untouched. Nothing's moved. Remember how they used to argue about books we hadn't read? Like we weren't there. Oh, you actually listened. Mm -hmm. I've always let my mind wander. Okay, I'll come back to that. Three drops of lavender oil before sleep. Come back to that. Faith always was his beacon in the darkness. In people as much as in God. He's a good man. I can still picture him crafting your very first Bane ring. You sound much more fond of the moment now than you were back then. Bit green for an actual haunting, you said. <laughs> you were. Still, you did all right. That's from this set he taught me with. I'd know it anywhere. The memories! Can you keep it to remind him of his favorite? Or to remind him that he had yet to beat me. Okay. side of the water and few on the other know that I came to do as minister in order to pursue research into the new world on behalf of the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole. And what strangers have I found? There are ghosts here. Yes. Old and innumerable. But they are quiet. I shall never say the word aloud but I suspect there to be witches. And if I find one I shall very much like to ask her for her story. Witches? Remember when he started to wear these? 
to look wiser and older. <laughs> he was hiding his hair loss. When I say my bed shall come for me, my couch shall ease my complaints. When thou scarest me with dreams and terrifies me through visions, so that my soul chooses strangling and death rather than life, she comes to me in dreams. Charles's notes mention Job, chapter 7, verses 13 to 15. I'll look for that reference. Red, you dropped something. Hmm. What do all these dreams have in common? Are they the promise of a doomsday or a nightmare coming? Vision's foreshadowing is someone behind this. Who is the real target and what causes anger to burst forth? I need to know how it gets into our heads. Sleep no longer offers rest and this cannot perjure. These notes are erratic ramblings. Charles was worried about the curse plaguing the settlers' dreams. Hmm. How malicious is this curse tormenting people in their beds? When I first... Huh? Oh, okay. One second here? Okay, wait. Are you hungry, dear? No, I'm busy. I'm you working. You must be starving after such a long trip. Oh, I thought we'd said we'd have dinner tomorrow. It's no trouble. Don't save your provisions, Esther. I'm all right, really. Rory what? McGrath isn't hungry. Truly, doomsday is upon us. Okay. Okay, back upstairs. My dear sister, Charles is dead. I cannot tell right from left. I cannot tell which day it is or how long ago my Charles departed. My world has come undone. Nothing happened as it was supposed to. I could not attend the bureau, the shame of it. How I feel, my dear husband. I just could not find the strength to leave the house and walk to the place where Charles died, there to see him buried. Lord, have mercy on us and guide our friends to us before it is too late. New Eden will not last much longer without my beloved husband to protect it. I do not have any words left in me, but I thought that you who loved him so should know of his passing. Esther couldn't attend Charles's burial. Poor woman. That's terrible for her. Esther never got to say farewell to Charles. I could have made him manifest. Now that we know why he might be back, we should go investigate the cemetery where he was found. Oh, no, we don't want to go to a cemetery. Sorry to trouble you once more. How may I help? Mm. We must make our way to the cemetery. Please be careful, dear Antea. The music. Like we're going to the cemetery. Dun 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 dun. What will you do for my Charles? If he's present, we'll find him. Then we'll ask him what he wants us to do. Must I see him too? First, let's find out what happened. After that, we'll see. Best get started. Time may be against us. Everybody in this town is like super suspicious. You'll be all right. I doubt it, but I'll do my work all the same. We came here to help Charles and help Charles with Shell. Ask around. See what people will tell you. I'll go to the cemetery and do the same. Be careful. Aye. You too. He's all like, mm-hmm. To find the location of your next objective, open your map. Here. So... A 
shop. So the cemetery is like towards the shop. This way? Yes. Uh, the game came out um, in February. Okay, it looks like they opened the path now. Be warned. I need but cry out, and help shall come in an instant. Calm you, sir. Antea Duarte, Minister Davenport's banisher. Oh, oh, of course, I'm so sorry. Poor Reverend Davenport. His death has shaken us all. Welcome to New Eden. I'm afraid you find us at our worst. It's pretty good so far. We're banishers. There's nowhere else we'd rather be. And you are? I, madam, am Squire Sincere Paris, traveling merchant, stuck in this cursed place and eager to be somewhere else. Show me your wares. Care to trade? Most of my goods are already packed, but I never refuse a deal. I bid you good day, Squire Paris, and thank you for your time. A pleasure, Mistress Duarte. Do be careful. I don't want to go broke. <laughs> I was like, I just got money. Okay, cemetery is that way. was already open. But here they opened it now, officially. The cemetery. Oh boy, oh boy. I see a spirit. A wisp. So close to town. The cemetery is closed. Hmm. Where are you leading me? To death, clearly. More of you? No one is safe here. Most of these people died fighting. Someone didn't want them here. Shiny objects! Shiny objects. Hmm. 
As a banisher, you can feel places or objects that have been marked by ghosts. When in close proximity to these elements, your bane rings will be triggered and light up an orange. Walk around to find the source. My ring is glowing. I've seen more graves here than I've met settlers. This place. Hell yeah. Attention <laughs> when the ring glow. Insight's all fine and dandy, and I'm just like, hey, Many look. Many dead in mm. more recent years. Shiny objects. That's Charles's. <laughs> what? Stop. Why didn't you wait for us, old friend? I swear I'll make it up to you. All about the shinies. Loki's like, I don't like ghosts. He's like, I don't like it. Everyone buried here died in 1677. A previous epidemic? When one is foraging, you do not interrupt. Tisk, tisk, tisk. memory lingers here. I might be able to reveal it. Rituals. Banishers can perform rituals. The nature of the site determines which ritual should be performed. Performing ritual consumes resources even if you select an incorrect ritual. Oh, lovely. To reveal the memories, you need to perform a hearkening ritual. Hearkening. What I picked up earlier should suffice. Thank God I loot everything. In each stain hides a story. Oh. Okay. In the name of the Lord, I command you. 
Be gone from this place. You do not command me, clergyman. Who are you, ghost? Unveil yourself. Well, since you ask so politely... Who are you? Oh boy. I am everything you've ever feared. Be gone! You have no shell, no ties, no purpose. No, but neither do you. <gasps> The woman in white. Oh, yeah, did you have to do that? Damn it. That thing he faced. What was it? Charles's Bible found half buried in the mud of the cemetery. It's opened at job 7 13 15. When I say my bed shall comfort me, my couch shall ease my complaints. Then thou scarest me with dreams and terrifi terrifiest me through visions, so that my soul chooses strangling and death rather than life. This tie is dust with the essence of Charles's ghost. After closure performance by Antea, the bond between the ghost and the world will be severed for good. The tie that binds his ghost. With it, I can make him manifest. Back to his grave, then. Much better? Thank God. Now is a good time for we old friends to talk. Summoning time. We've come too far, Red and I, not to see you one last time. Your pupil has become the master. If we fight, I'll beat you. It's pretty warm. Come on, Charles. Join me now. I know you're here. This is so cool. I know you're here. You know me, ghost. I only wish to talk. Esther worries. Antea. Here. At last. Oh, poor Esther. I'm so sorry, my friend. So sorry for us all. What happened? What's going on here? Sad to say, dear friend. You buy it? I'm nice, honest. nice. And it cost me my life. Is Red with you? There is no time to waste. Before you died, you investigated the curse. What did you learn? That our enemy is deceptive and merciless. That we should not underestimate its power. Mm. We? I am dead, dearest Dantea. But I am a banisher yet. I may still teach you. Oh. If I allow you, which I do not. And here, do not repeat my mistakes. If a nightmare curses New Eden, you need all the help you can get. 
Its presence felt strongest in the meeting house. Perhaps the light of God there forced it to fight its ground. I had the building closed. The worst of the malevolence is contained. But it won't stay locked up for long. Okay. How did this nightmare kill you? I believed that I could come to the cemetery and make it manifest. To my initial delight, it worked. I now suspect it came by choice. It seemed amused. As if it were a pleasant game to weigh my measure as a man. This plus any more spooky games. Makes sense, eh? How many more additional Funko protectors do I need? I'm not completely done putting them all in. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure how many more I need at the moment. Cause I think I think I have 13 left from the stack that you got me. And I think I have maybe 20 or 25 more Funkos to pack. I think. It, assuming I find all the ones that I have. <laughs> what did it look like? I don't know. When it manifested, it appeared as Esther. My dear Esther. Oh, that's... Oh. I did not see its true face. But I heard a woman. Not Esther. Someone else. She was laughing. I felt her gaze. My heart froze. She died. <laughs> The spirit is vengeance pure. The ghost of one who was terribly wronged. I've heard your warning. You can go. No. I must remain. Esther needs my protection. My flock needs me too. You know how this works. You know I won't allow that. I am still myself, Antea. With time, I'll grow stronger. I can help you. The longer you haunt Esther, the hungrier you'll be. You know this. This is different. I'm the Reverend Charles Davenport, your friend and mentor. Uh-huh. You know me. You know I am a good man. I knew you. You were a good man. Now you are a ghost, and I cannot let that stand. But I swear it, the nightmare will end, and Red and I shall do the ending. Charles Davenport was a good man, and a fine mentor. And you a fine student, though you took a hard line. I never could unpick that from your character. Has life tempered you since? Hello! Life has tempered my steel. Death and the manner of it has made you the very thing you once opposed. Goodbye, Charles. Peace on your soul. Remembrance on your... Antea, wait. Wait for what? We're banishers. Death to the dead. Let Esther choose for herself. Oh. Oh, Lord. Please don't ask me to do that. Esther, my good wife, and the very best. I miss you so. Me too. Oh, dear Lord. Charles, why are you here? Why have you come back? You must leave. Please. I must stay. I must protect you. The thing in the meeting house feeds on our torment. I should have known better. I know better now. Antea, give Charlie the ascent he deserves. Charles Davenport, you have no reason to stay. Go. Let Esther grieve in peace. Save her, my friends. And save yourselves. 
save them all. I'm secretly not crying right now. I'll walk Esther home. I'll do it. The women can talk. Uh, then all the way to the schoolhouse and make the bed. Charles is at rest now. And Taya, she gave him the care he needed. I'm gonna cry more. Oh my god. You know it. <laughs> I'm such a baby with these types of things. We should have a less painful way to do it the whole time than why start with the rough way? Because their job is to banish ghosts, right? Not ascend them, I, I guess? I don't know. She's, she's hardcore. She likes doing it the more serious way, right? The game looks fantastic. Fantastic. But yeah. It was, it was, um, I didn't get it all done yet. Like, in terms of packing the Funkos. We're getting there. And that's assuming, obviously, if I don't get more of those random boxes, because I'm addicted to those things. <laughs> Is to help ghosts move on? Then she should have went with the moving on option first, then, you know, banishing him. In the realm of the living, it really is tough when it's someone dear. It's true. I mean, anybody that knows about spirits and shit, you, all, you pretty much know. The longer a spirit is there, they're not gonna stay nice. Eventually, they're gonna be like... <laughs> Banish, not beat. Don't mess with the Ouija board. Exactly! Don't touch that shit. Just play it. I'm interested to see what choices you... Oh, dear God. Wait, wait, wait. So what you're saying is, I have the choice of ascending or banishing? Those are my choices? Yo, Murdered Soul Suspect was literally one of my favorite games. I freaking love that game. Can you tell I don't want to talk to her? Just kidding. Esther, my friend. My Charles. Where do you think he is now? He's... I don't know. I miss I'm gonna shut up, listen. please, play. Turning a blind eye. His presence in our house. If I close my eyes, I can picture him. He's in a place where sunlight chases the snow away. It is warm and there is fresh milk. The sheets are cleaned and pressed and folded. Nothing can ever be the matter. You're right. He's at peace. And you deserve to rest. Oh, quickly, before uh, before we uh, continue really fast. We're, we're good now. <laughs> She's just, like, waiting for me. I'm sorry, ma'am. I was talking about things. I guess she, she's, uh, she wants to go home, too. Escort her home. I was like, how far away are we from your house? I'm sorry. I'll miss him. Dearly. Tomorrow, we'll continue investigating the curse. Good night, Esther. I am glad you are here. Both of you. We need you. Why are you talking like that? Okay, without going into spoilers, but like, does anybody else feel like this like weird vibe when she talks? I feel like she's like possessed. Or maybe I'm just overthinking because I watch too many ghost and demon movies. When and if the Americanized version of Train to Busan comes out? 
Honestly, I don't. I stopped paying attention. I know they got the contract and things were progressing, but I don't. I don't even know if they started filming it or not. Good night, my dear. I don't. I don't know. I don't trust you. I don't trust you, ma'am. Good night, my dear. And then she pulls a freaking hammer and then smashes me in the head. <sighs> now I gotta go to the schoolhouse? Dude. Oh, oh, hello. That's the wrong button. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Clearly I know how to move this map. The old friends. Join Red at the schoolhouse. Intent obtained, intent obtained. Enter haunted case. Oh. Okay, this is cool. Ma'am, what are you doing? Good day to you, madam. Antea Duarte is my name. May I ask yours? Duarte? Duarte? You came with the Banisher, did you not? I am the Banisher. Oh, right. So, you're the face of hope, are you? You're what my tithes are buying. Let me have a look at you. Oh, right. Well, I hope I'm wrong. Bathsheba Ingersoll, or I was the last time I looked. Tell me about your store. Why? Would you like to buy some china? Some porcelana? A linen dress? That's about all we have left. You'll be shocked to learn that there is little demand for the finer things in life, and we have next to no supply of the staples. I should have gone when I had the chance. I suppose beneath it all, I'm an optimist. And that makes and me She's got a long cape. <laughs> okay, okay. A very good day to you, madam. You're optimistic too, then. Aren't we the fools? So now your playthrough of this game has the option to see you cry this time from sagging features instead of computer bugs. I mean, I would I would rather cry from sad game features than than bugs. Definitely. The only thing that's gonna suck about crying is that my eyes are already hurting like crazy today. <laughs> so bringing out the feels is gonna suck. Do a spin. Does this count as a spin? <laughs> Dude, why do we gotta go to a haunted schoolhouse to sleep? Like, come on. Town has filled with sinners. To hell with evil worshippers who do the devil's work. We should have sent them all away. God watches us here as we live willingly with treacherous liars. These chanting demons will not get the likes of me. But they might corrupt the weak-minded. May fervor and prayer bless our souls in these times of trial. Puritans and their sermons. Freaking Puritans. Get away! Sir, what are you doing here? Good day, sir. Good day, sir. You'll be one of Haskell's banishes, I take it. Antea Duarte. You may meet Red McWraith about the place. Cute bachelor. The governor had me prepare the schoolhouse for your comfort. It has fallen out of use. Will that be all? Well, you're lucky I really don't want to ask you questions. Farewell, Mr. Bachelor. <laughs> and you may wish us luck. I shall not wish you luck. I shall wish you salvation. Mm. Salvation would be good, I guess. So he's just already- he's already drinking? Oh wait, no. Okay, maybe he's just getting warm. I thought he was drinking. That's creepy.
Okay, this is like a little bit too much reading. For my comfort, what did the kids put up with? <laughs> Ooh, my inventory looks nice. <laughs> wait, 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 I just seen something. What is that? Oh, okay. Ah, collectibles, oh boy. It'd be weird in those days. True. We did the right thing. Charles was our friend. I love you, Red McCraith. But? But when it comes to ghosts, your heart makes you reckless. It's dangerous. Were you really about to banish Charles? Charles would have done the same for your ghost or mine. I hope he'd have at least hesitated. Charles was a good man, full of love. Banishing his ghost wouldn't have been easy, but it would have been right. Ghosts only bring misery, Red. Make no mistake, they steal life's essence from the living. Why? They don't always do it out of malice. Give them that. The dead have no business with the living. Letting go is hard. Even for the dead. Dies bind first. And we are paid to cut the knot. Would you banish me? If it came to. <clears throat> You'll not escape me so easy. You I would bring back from the dead. <laughs> That's not funny. I'd fill you with fresh essence. I'd give you so much essence you'd return bloated with life. Steal essence from the living to feed my ghost. <laughs> you wouldn't. Oh, I would. And then I'd kill you again. <laughs> I'd do anything for you. You're a scruffy headed lout, Red McGrath, and I will never let you go. Over my dead body, mister. I thought I was meant to be the soft hearted one. <laughs> you are. I think Charles was right. This thing in the meeting house could be a. What did he call it? A nightmare. I really hope not. Such entities are legendary ghosts, even for banishers. Oh boy. We'll see tomorrow. Now, to sleep. This was a dreadful day. Have you tried uh, checking Vicky? If Vicky has it? Poor Charles. Poor Esther. Aye, poor Esther. I'm telling you, there's something weird about her. Oh. Oh, cause that's not scary at all. Tia. She took her fire bean. She says I'm the reckless one. Oh boy. Death to the dead. Oh. Antea, you didn't leave me a letter? Where are you? You're hardly in the meeting now, are you? Did she totally go there by herself?
Here, I'm spinning. He's a handsome fellow, isn't he? Oh, look at the sky! Oh boy. Who's there? Antea? be there but then it's like vicky literally has so many korean things that i should have i should have thought of that one <laughs> why would you go up there alone it's scary over here i'm hoping here. The path to the meeting is, house is closed. Okay, wait. Yeah, but um. So I'm assuming we have been here before. This is. Have we been here? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, like, I don't know everything that they have there, but I know it's a good spot to find K-dramas. Like, I've never used them myself, but I know quite a bit of people that, that use it. This part of town is closed by the governor's decree. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I don't want to go in there. I have like a bad feeling about this place. I don't suppose you specters have seen Antea, have you? If you know just use Netflix and um the Korean ones that have gets for me. You're the boss and all but you could have included me. Clearly she's got a plan. And probably not a damn good plan either. a ghost.
how they run see how they run run see how they run pray run see how they run pray run red run run see how they run pray the hell see how they run see how they run three blind mice three blind mice see how they run like i know it's very important to go in there but this is creepy you see? We never stood a chance. Matea, you hot? Where are you? That's also true. I'm here, my love. What happened? Yourself. God came to the man in a dream and said, Behold, thou art dead. But the man had done nothing wrong and said, Lord, wilt thou also slay the righteous? What? Oh, that is the saddest thing ever. Slay the righteous. Be not alarmed. I bring you aid. There is no aid. There is only dereliction. Where's Antea? What have you done with her? That was Paul's. Lady, if you hurt her. You cling to love, a fool to the last. There is no love. There is only defilement. Don't defile me. <laughs> No. Oh, she's angry. Wait. Oh! Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! 
the icy ocean made a diamond from his grief, then buried it in his heart. Oh no, am I dead? Did she just one shot me? The weight of his failure dragged him down. Outside time, drowning in the gloom, he spoke her name. Take me instead, he screamed, soundless, to the cold and silent waters. Out beyond the black veil of death, something heard his cries and reached for him. Oh, I'm not dead? Am I dead? No, oh, he's okay. If, like, Dark Souls stabbed the butt, definitely. Let her go. Take me instead. Let her go! Ah, you're awake. Who are you? She who rescued you. Tended you for days on end. Weeks, maybe. Weeks? Oh, God. What have I done? Get your strength back before you beat yourself up. She is there. Yes. That's why you're here. And why I was sent to look after you. Who are you? I feel like we've met, but I'm sure we have not. I feel like I know you forever, but do I? You're confused. It's normal. You've been near killed by a nightmare, you've lost your beloved, and now you've a witch by your sickbed. Witch? Witch. I go by Seeker. Find the Banisher, said my mistress. Tend him, then answer any questions he asks you before you leave him be. It's like crack from so, making new tools. <laughs> how do you feel? Does it matter? <sighs> of course it matters. It means you're alive, and you haven't given up. Plot twist? Jeez! What am I to do now? How do I... How do I do it alone? You're not alone. Have faith. And the ghost is freaking creepy. If Ceridian had told me more, I'd tell you it. But you must have faith. Oh, nice. Have faith. You say that you do not know me. Easy said. Harder done. What comes easy in life tends not to matter. It's the hard stuff that counts. You have a hole in you. A yawning, grimacing pit in your soul. That's love, that is. The hole won't fill because the love won't die. This is a taste? God. Oh god. What have I done? Here's the thing. Unlike most, you get a second chance. I suggest you seize it. Why do you pull me from the water? What's your business with me? I have no business with you, but my mistress does. Ceridian says the wall between the living and the dead is under threat. You it seems, have a part to play. This is mine. You've lost me. No, I found you. But so did your grief. And it demands to be felt. You may think you're done with your ghosts, Red McCraith. But they aren't done with you. I'll go now. Rest. 
Why ever my mistress said you, she has good reasons. The best. And we go as long as I, oh god. Home. To Ceridian. She needs me. It wouldn't surprise me. Where shall I find you if... or when I need to? Maya marshes. Great big swamps other side of the woods. You can't miss them. We'll know when you're coming. Until we meet again, then. That's right, Banisher. Now, turn around. What? I'm leaving. Comes the big decision, is am I gonna be good or not good? What? Oh god. And not just that, oh no. <laughs> to be or not to be. Banish, if you read this, it means that you have enough brain to know your alphabet. You have not resisted going through what I left behind. You may take whatever you deem useful since my mistress wants you to live. We shall meet soon enough. Until then, be well. I don't know what this is, but I'm staying away from it. So clearly you didn't really leave me with that many supplies if you wanted me to live. And not just that. Why do I get this brilliant game that makes me choose how it will all end, who will live and who will die? I have I didn't look at the achievements for this game, so now I'm like, oh crap. Where am I? Well, there's water, if that helps. It's morning. Can I go in the water? No? Okay. She said survive, not live. Oh, good point, good point. That is true, she did say that. Okay, oh, wait, okay, one. One, 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 one. No? Oh, okay. I tried. We're good. And that's what- This is a bit open world. You get your linear main quest, but you can freely move around and come back. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, now go. Just ask you, is it do or not? I know less than you do. Yeah, but, um... The only thing that I knew coming into the game was the trailer. I avoided everything about the game. Because originally, I, we were supposed to play it directly on my birthday when it came out on the 13th of February. But we didn't have a chance because of everything else that we were doing. So, like, I literally avoided everything about the game. So, honestly, we're probably on the same page of what we know. Uh... Tisk tisk. <laughs> what? I'm pretty sure here it goes, probably. Until Tech is just free. Yeah, the, tra the trailer's as far as I got. And then I was like, I'm avoiding everything else. Luckily, there wasn't really anybody that I follow on Twitter that were ta was talking about the game, so... Everybody's just talking about Final Fantasy. That one's hard to avoid spoilers.
2 comes out in May? <gasps> no. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. What is that glowing thing there? Is that something that we deal with later? Cause I can't go into the water and I can't touch it. Okay, okay, okay. 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 That, that's what I was wondering. I have a I had like a love-hate relationship with the first one. Just because the combat for me was really, really hard. Damn it. What am I doing here? That's what I was thinking. I just wanted to make sure, like, before we actually, like, walked away from it. Yeah, that that's gonna be my issue is the remembering. <laughs> we we all know how bad that's gonna be. It feels like my game, yeah. You got to the end and then it all reset. Oh no. Yeah, I struggled so hard not uh, dying. But man, I was really- I'm bad at dodging and blocking in games. Like, really bad. said I want to replay the first one before the second game comes out, but that's gonna be physically impossible. <laughs> We're too busy. At present, I just dodge whenever I could. Makes sense. Oh god, fella, now is not the time. Hello! Come on, you mongrels! What in the hell am I doing? Fighting dogs? That's clearly what you're doing. Are they ghost dogs? Okay, never mind. They're not ghost dogs. Because <laughs> I need to play and I just added this game to the list. I honestly thought originally that January and February were going to be like a little bit quieter for me so we can play like catch up on like things that I wanted to like reintroduce and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that didn't work. And like I know like there's no way I can do Dragon's Dogma right now. One, it's too expensive and two, it's just way way too busy and it sucks because I freaking love that series we'll have to do that one later and then I forgot that Alone in the Dark comes out I thought it was coming out in freaking April am I the last bloody living soul here probably Oh my god. <gasps> On the 21st also? Jesus.
It's so pretty. Did you? I was like, can we get some heights in the YouTube chat? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. I have so much to play already, so I might leave it for now, or whenever it's on sale, I may get it and try it out if something. Makes sense. I just want to make sure that I've got enough time to put into it. Because those are the types of games, like, you can't really rush it, because then you're just going to get your ass handed to you in, like, boss fights. But I also know, like, how long they can run. Like, I had no issues putting hundreds and hundreds of hours into games, right? Because I just played by myself. But on stream, I've never played a game that runs that long. Just because those types of games are like, they're high risk, they're like holding people's attention, right? Because I mean, like, I don't want to be the only one enjoying the game, right? Okay, where did I come from? Did I come from the, this part? Oh, okay, wait, I don't want to go there then. Okay, wait. Who kind of there? Me. It's here. Right. Oh God. But did I come from here? Oh, I see ghosts. makes every game run longer and also makes you look dumb because you your focus is split <gasps> exactly exactly that's why it's like most of the time i try to focus just the main storyline that way we can move on quicker so we're not like putting like too much time into a specific game But then if people are enjoying what we're doing, you know what I mean, and it's kind of like hyped, then obviously we can dedicate more time to it, right? Okay, so we got that. Okay. So now we're going to go this way. But I know, like, 
regardless of us finishing a game on stream, I'll still finish it off stream and it'll get it'll get uploaded anyway. So no matter what, you'll you'll always be able to see the ending of things unless I rage quit the game. This is not play. This can't be happening. And we're usually pretty good at finishing games. Antea, call me to you. See, that's what I like. Aloha, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Like, hang out, enjoy the stream, enjoy the community, you know? And just chill with the game. We're supposed to go work a bit more so that I can get paid, so I can buy more games. Seems pretty accurate. <laughs> I'm here! Lead me to you! Mm. Luckily though, for the most part, I'm good at multitasking. I can pretty much hold the conversation. Here. I tell ya. Are you there? While playing. Unless obviously there's a boss fight. Or a cutscene, then obviously I'm not gonna talk. Right here, my love, right here. It is you. You. you have me. Oh. No, don't go. I'm here. Follow me. Vision, I'm not sure it would hit you from Vision's quarter to play a sandbox game. Well, the good thing about it, once once we're done with it on stream, right? Where are you going? Then I'll as I have here. free time, I can work on it little by little off stream. Not that I have a lot of free time, but like, you know, slow and steady that, that way. I have you. I'm right here. Where are you? Where have you gone? Antea! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's what I like about those types of games. There's no rush to finishing those things. Those are just nice and chill. You seem weak. You need rest. I 
I feel hollow. But he's really good at making a fire. Do not be troubled. Mm, makes sense. How could I not be? To have lost you and found you like this. And you're hungry. That's one way to say it. Yes. What can I do? Charles's Bible. The tie that bound his ghost. Some essence remains upon it. For now, it will do me. I needed this. I feel better. Look at you. At us. I know. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're back. Truly. The living should not truck with the dead. I've known that since childhood. I learned the hard way. You never told me this. Oh, 100%. It was a lifetime ago. For now, it doesn't matter. Are you still hungry? I'm hollow. As if I were filled with emptiness. So the essence Charles left on his Bible was useless. Consuming his tie did make me feel better. But I'll need more. Much more. We should talk about what happened. After the meeting house, I mean. What do you remember from after you died? I remember the suddenness of my death. I remember nothing, but... After that, a nothingness. Timeless. Lost. And then I heard you. You spoke my name. I searched for a way back. I woke up in a cave. Been rescued by a young woman named Sika. A witch's apprentice. She was proud to tell me that. Her mistress had sent her to take care of me. Witches rarely show themselves. Intriguing that one would help us. I think we should go back to New Eden Town. I agree. To free me. I believe we must reclaim okay, my body. You were dead the whole time. I refuse like to be this way. I'll not abide it. I'm so sorry, my love. How can I help? I'm a ghost. You're a banisher. I'll not banish you. I cannot and tear. So you die. You can't ask that of me. If that's what I wanted, you'd have no choice. But you don't wish it, do you? Not before I've had my revenge. Not before I've seen the nightmare defeated by you and me both. In the schoolhouse, he joked about bringing me back to life. Is that possible? Yes. The ritual of lesser palingenesis. It's extremely difficult. Highly dangerous. Oh. I could try, right? You'd teach me. I'd bring you back. Red. It's an ancient ritual. It requires power. It consumes essence in large quantities. We're talking about human sacrifice. Murder. It's a 
says, maybe we could consider it. I mean, uh -oh. there's the slightest uh -oh. chance I could bring you back. I'd take it. It's a dark ritual, Red. It's tempting, and that's dangerous. To think of being back in your arms. I'm tempted to. Could I give you your assent? That would be the simplest solution, but not the easiest. Why? My body is my tie, and the nightmare still holds it. In the meeting house, but before she let me fall, I, I swear she dared well. me to come back. Right? She's as devious as she is powerful. She won't just hand it over. Then what shall we do? If we are to return to New Eden Town, we must first learn more about our enemy. Charles said nightmares don't appear without good reason. Yes. We have a mystery to solve. Witches to meet. People to find and questions to ask. And then you'll help me go. One way or another. I will. I swear it, Mother. Rest. You need it. I'll stay close. Unveil. Tag team. The fourth light attacks attack triggers a punch attack that ignores resistances. So it's a team assist. Maximum decontion charge is increased by one. Banish points gained are increased by 20%, but banish damage is reduced. Oh, okay. Powder keg. Heavy attack triggers an area of affecting physical damage. Antea can allow Red to see the world from the other side of the veil and uncover ethereal elements such as spectral stains and or webs. In combat, Antea can deal increased damage to possessed corpses. Ooh. The unveil manifestation has been unlocked after the consumption of the essence soaking Charles's tie. Invigorate. Banishing an enemy increases the damage of the next heavy attack by 200%. Each enemy hit by light attack increases the damage of light attacks by 10%. This effect can be accumulated, resets on being hit. Damage dealt by red is increased up to 15%, the higher the health points dodge. Perfect. Switch on Taya right after a front dodge to trigger a melee attack that ignores resistances. Costs 15 points. Damage dealt by all perfect switch attacks is increased by 20. Hmm. Okay, well. Obviously, I want that. I want this. There. Oh. Oh, I have to choose? Oh, I can't have both? Wait, I have two? Oh. No. Ah, so it's like that. Hmm. I like the, the idea that you can refund it, though. It's totally not creepy, though, having a ghost watching you sleep. Just saying. Upgrade your commit. Shelter allows you to upgrade your commit via the inventory menu. Evolution? Okay. Inventory? Ooh. Upgrading your equipment improves the bonuses, but requires resources. You can access the upgrades menu by hovering on equipment slot and pressing F. Red's first Bane Ring. Damage taken is reduced by 5%. Ooh, okay. Mm. Melee attack damage is increased by 5%. The fourth light attack and... 
Heavy attacks damage is increased by 50. Ooh. Okay, first thing. Hit. Ooh. Okay. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Scourge Accretion. Wait, when did I get this weapon? Mm hmm? Okay, wait a minute here. Why would I upgrade my level one gear? Basically, if I have access to this. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so if I just do that. Okay, this one I could upgrade, I think. common upgrade okay so to go to the next upgrade i need translucent fiber in the Meyer marshes region or bought from witches okay cool magnetite and scourge accretion pirate fur scourge inky cap elite gem magnet silver scourge Ooh. And that's the only ring that I have, so. Perfect. Green Hellebore, Scourge. Oh. Ooh. Stark Wintergreen. Who funk it? Oh, okay, cool. That's all pretty good so far. Fast travel. Travel between accessible shelters. Deconction charges will replenish and crafting resources and enemies will respawn. Oh. You may travel between the shelters you discover throughout the world. Traveling causes the time lapse after which enemies respawn and deconctions and resources are replenished. Oh. World completion, zero percent. Wow. Okay. Damn, okay. For no watch of you watching her stand over here, the game fast forward again. Right? Okay. I have a feeling like she's gonna scare me at, at some moments. Guaranteed. Like she's gonna like like pop up like around me. Find an exit. On to New Eden, whichever way it lies. We'll need provisions, going for the basics. We'll manage, together. Yes? Hmm. What the hell happened here? A blood ritual? If you're gonna play with salt circles, you better get them right, lad. Somebody clearly failed what they were doing. 
During one of our explorations of these new lands on which we first set foot many years ago, An Angarad and I discovered a new place, a special place, a cave hidden behind a waterfall where none would find it. A strange feeling of lightness drew us to it, as though the veil between the incarnate and the invisible was as thin as the finest French silk. From the chamber emanated emanated the power of the other world. Surely we thought this was a fine place for a ritual experimentation. The cave was larger than we had had at first thought, containing a multitude of galleries. Angarad and I decided to take young Shelley along with us to continue our exploration. Pleasant but ungifted, his father insisted that he train with experienced occultists. What a surprise it was when we found the mushrooms we needed for our rituals growing on the walls. We set about collecting them while I drew the symbols and prepared the rituals. We felt our powers magnified tenfold. One page is missing. The cave is vast and dangerous. I heard whispers in the darkness. Something watches us. Neither Belden nor Shelley can hear them, or so they say. But something lurks. I am sure of it. Perhaps I am wrong. Perhaps the fever I had some weeks ago yet lingers. Last night I caught young Shelley watching us sleep. He was talking to himself. It was unnerving. I see no bodies. Maybe the wolves took him. Can you not see the symbols on the wall? No. Take my hand. I want to try something. Is that possible through our bane rings? They allow us to connect the invisible oh, and the incarnate. Cool. Through this bond, what I see I bestow on you. Are those webs made of spectral stains? Let me. Proceed to remove such a and reveal shrouded object or places. All these years, the things we must have missed. The dead hide more from the living than we thought. This is going to be helpful. Gotta admit, that was pretty cool. Pretty sweet. I feel a draft from the invisible. Oh, ho. I love this. We can fight them together. Whoa! Perform a punch attack that deals more damage to possessed corpses. Attack with anti consumes spirit points. They are generated by Red's attacks. We'll get better. This is so cool. <laughs>
down, please. I need to take these supplies. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. There's something else hiding here. A oh, weight sits on my chest. The cave roof looms over me like a colossus. It is not like me. I will explore the cavernous depths. Angara disagrees, fearing a fall into a crevice or some other fatal mishap. I reassure him that I am an experienced and capable explorer, as my father was before me. Shelley wishes to join the party. I don't trust the boy. I don't like the way he looks at me. He wishes to follow me into the depths, and something inside me screams no. One page is missing. I sicken. My organs burn. My blood withers. I will die. Such is the price of knowledge. We are called to say, but I regret. If I had known what suffering awaited, I would have turned us back. Doused us in the icy waterfall and left, burying the cave deep in my memory. May the demonic effluvia from our rituals take them all. They always end up mucking around with black magic. Always. This is where I came from, right? And then I went that path. Oh, what's this? Yeah, we already went there. Wait, did I miss something? No. I didn't think so. Yeah, just their box. Okay. Some ghosts. That's Spectre. It's heading for that corpse. Oh, it's like possessing. Okay. Spectres may attempt to possess corpses. You can interrupt a possession by attacking the Spectre before it reaches the corpse. Watch out, Spectre possession. The whole region's crawling with Spectres. It's not just New Eden Town. What happened here for the veil to be so thin? War, invasion. Or colonization of a land that's vulnerable to haunting. Okay. Nothing 
else here? That way. Yeah, because that was the cave. So now we're going here. I like a bit of rabbit, but these are off. That'll be why the wolves haven't eaten them. Hunting gear. Perhaps our trappers are nearby. You took yourself up there very fast. That might take some getting used to, for both of us. Yeah, no doubt. I like, I wish I could just teleport up there. Oh, okay. I can go this way. <laughs> A slow walk around, but I'm there. Antea, will people be able to tell I'm haunted? Perhaps, if they had talent or training. What if someone sees you? Unlikely. If they had talent or training, they wouldn't have needed us banishers. She's got a point. What a point. Oh, 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 oh. I wonder what happened to the trappers around here. The woods are swarmed with spectres. Hopefully, they left. Oh, we can't chill here? I was thinking that this might be like, um... I seen something though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just I, I noticed something here. I just don't know if it's something that I that I can touch right now. Wait, is this still not something that I can do yet? Let's 
maybe not. Well, I'm not gonna remember where those things are. I mean, I guess the good part is, at least with the fast travel, you can come back, assuming you remember where those things are. Because I would assume if I had the ability to grab it, they would have gave me a prompt to take it. Looking here, they're not. Yeah, there's no prompts. Okay. I wish it would highlight on the map. Like, I get why it's not, because we don't know what it is. But it'd be nice if they did. Like, hey, mysterious object here. Like, question mark on your map? These witches you mentioned must know something about the nightmare. Aye, but can we trust them? Well, witches only involve themselves with people if they absolutely have to. Yours must have good reason. Well, I think to collect them all to get the good ending. Oh, I hope not. But it wouldn't surprise me if those things are like, they, I don't know, it kind of gives you like essence vibes. I think I see a crossing over there. Signs of civilization. Lucky me. Uh, at least I'm not the alone that feels like that. You know, maybe like to like bring her back to life without needing to sacrifice people. You have to collect those essences. Nice place. Potentially. Wolves and specters aside. Don't you have wolves and specters in the highlands? Aye, but I was of the courtesy of letting me catch my breath between fights. The sacrificing seems to be the easier option. <laughs> you don't have the required manifestation to unlock this path for now. Okay, such obstacles are marked on your map and compass so you can come back later with ease to unveil their secrets. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Creeping ivy. I always hated these sap thirsty spectres. Okay, perfect. I love that. See, that. see, this is what I was talking about, about those, that weird little orb thing. Okay, I like that. Thank you, game. Probably for people that can remember them after the power to unlock them in the locks. I may or may not remember. <laughs> Okay, that's cool. Bad news. The bridge is out. And we'll find another road to New Eden. Strange. I see stains, but not the usual kind. Yeah, that I think is, is different. There's a pattern to them. Don't you see it? It calls to me. I mean, it's cool looking.
Over here. You can climb down. Yeah, I, I know that. I'm just thinking. Cause didn't we just Oh wait, no wait. Wait a minute. I have strong ankles, but at this height, we're gonna make it. Oh, you'll make it. And up and down we go. Those stains. I could have grasped at them had I been stronger. It's hard to think clearly. The hunger is back and it's growing fast. Already? Right, let's find something to sustain you. I'm right here, you know. Okay. Standing by. As soon as I said we're good, he, he of course starts again. Okay, so what was I looking for? Okay, she talked about the spirit thing, eh? Okay, so there's a... Wait, I came from here. Or not. No, that... Yeah, I came from here, eh? Yes. Yes. There's specific words that set him off. You'd think good boy would make him happy, though, eh? <laughs> okay, I heard something. Oh, okay, okay. I cheated her walk. Right? You would think. There's someone inside. Someone tainted. Tainted? Okay, wait a minute, though. Quick mist, spun by a ghost after a violent death. Anna sure rule number eight. Don't get lost in quick mist, lest the spectres get you. Wise, but I see no other way. A ghost made this, and we need to find out whose. Okay, well, no, wait, 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 then we'll come back. Somebody's tainted. Ew, ew, ew. <gasps> ben, you're back. Beg pardon. I thought you were someone else. You hungry, friend? The stew is thin enough, but I'd be glad to share. Kind of you to offer, Rod. But no, thank you. Been a while since I've seen another human's face. You come from camp? 
You, a uh, hunter? Of sorts. Red McCreeth. I'm a banisher. Liking the stories. Jacob Lind. I'm a trapper. <laughs> That's a real job. Who's Ben? Another trapper. Hi, the best of them. Taught me all I know. He's out now, but he'll be back. Where has he gone? The bridge is down. As down as down can be. Can't cross. Bad things lurk in the shadows. They sent flesh. Okay. Game's low. Game's low and Ben's gone. He'll find game, he will. I know it. Where did you meet Ben? We found each other. Brothers in spirit, he said. He's been good to me. Too good. Mm -hmm. Why? He's important to you. I and me to him. Exactly. What lurks in the shadows? Is that what keeps you here? That and the fog. Can't hunt if you can't see. Ben shoots better than me. Knows the woods better too. I'd only <laughs> slow him. Only slow him. He's lost his nerve. Or a ghost has taken it from him. What are you doing here? How do you know we're safer? The woods are kind to them as knows them. We hunt here. When we get pelts and meat, we trade in New Eden. But games be so. scarce. We've not to trade, so we wait. When even the wolves are starving. You know it's going to be a bad winter. Winter? This is June. Is it? Could have sworn it was... I'm sorry. On my own, I lose track of time. And with your friend? Oh. You met Ben, did you? A few better. He was just here, Definitely. he was. Just here. You're exhausted. I'm surprising given how tainted are these woods. Are you sleeping? I don't like sleeping. I see things. Bright eyes in the leaves. What does tainted mean? Marked by ghosts. Haunted. Tell me of your nightmares. One nightmare. Always the same one. Ben has it too. Mm. Would you care to share them? No. No. It's a nightmare. Nothing more. Get some rest, Jacob. You need it. If you see Ben, tell him I'm thinking of him. Tall lad, even when he's lying down. Can't miss him. This explains the quick mist. You have started your first haunted case and must investigate the ghost that haunts Jacob. Use the notification shortcut or open your haunting cases menu tab to follow this investigation. Okay. And God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. And the fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth and upon every fowl of the air, upon all that moveth upon the earth and upon all the fishes of the sea. Into your hand are they delivered. Every moving thing that liveth shall be meat for you, even as the green herb I have giveth, given you all the things. But flesh with the life thereof which is the blood thereof shall ye not eat. And surely your blood of your lives will I require, at the hand of every beast will I require it, and at the hand of man, at the hand of every man's brother will I require the life of man. Who's, whoso sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed, for in the image of God made he man. Well, okay.
these Ben's things? Most of them. Not the rope. You can have it if you want. Kind of you. Thank you. The sturdy rope is mainly used to descend safely from dangerous cliffs. Ooh, the bridge one! We might be able to go back to the rope, uh, the bridge now. Your meat's turning, friend. Food is scarce. We might do. He's not fussy. His meat is crawling. I mean, that just sounds weird that you're even saying that. His meat is crawling. Do you sleep here, Jacob? Ben sleeps here. I don't sleep. Oh, there's like bugs Whatever everywhere. haunts the boy spawns maggots. We should talk to this Ben fellow. Ew. Okay. The ghost spawns maggots in Jacob and Lynn's hovel. Okay, so we need to find the hints. Jacob has two more things we gotta find too. Whoa. Oh. Oh, there to you, Jacob. Mr. McCraith, sir. Farewell to you, Mr. Lynn. Farewell. Okay, I'm actually kind of happy there's like a like an investigation to come with this. I thought at first, because she's hungry, we were going to come in here and just murder him. So I like the idea of investigating and doing whatever and then maybe potentially killing afterwards. <laughs> Something is inside its tainted. It's pretty sure phrasing isn't her strong suit. Oh, exactly. Like, I assume tainted like he's possessed, right? Ben went out without a gun. We're trappers, not hunters. We had the gun for safety, but it got damp. Done work. Give me the gun! I need it! Oh! That is so cool. Look at that. That's his essence we're staring at. And she's hungry. Yeah, this is dangerous. <laughs> Wait, if you said it doesn't work, can I can I have it? Or no? No, and we're just gonna go Ben went out without a gun. We're trappers, not hunters. Mm. We had the gun for safety, but it got damp. Done work. Okay. Okay, so we gotta go this way. He's so confused. I doubt he knows what year it is. What happened to him? Maybe he was always alone. Maybe Ben is made up. Good point. Okay, no, no, I came from here. <clears throat> I crossed that. Look what I found! Now I just gotta figure out how to get in here. Oh wait. I found how to get in here. Ooh. That's your face. Oh, the ban- Oh! The banishing actually were perfectly one-shot.
Either Ben was lost in the mist, or he's the source of it. Drop into the deep unknown. Can't see further than the end of my arm down there. Huh. Don't worry, it'll affect your other senses too. Oh, thank you. What is quick, Miss Boy? That's, that's better and a little terrifying. Oh, I see fine. Okay, cool, cool. This, okay, we gotta be, this is pretty sweet. Okay, so for now, until we banish the quick mist, we can't really do much. <clears throat> Whoa. Do you see that? It looks like the fog is coming from those odd looking stalagmites. Hold on. I think I can rid us of the quick mist. Wait. Oh. Well, I'm partly made of the same stuff. Okay, we're gonna touch it. I'm sorry. I didn't know that would happen. That's fine. I got away with it. Let's find what caused it. You mean, let's find out who died. Okay. Now we will talk to you, spirit, in a minute here. Because I want to... Look around. Now that I can touch things. Okay, so he still can't go there. Okay, he can climb that. Okay. And where did... Now can he... Okay, he can enter here. Is it just me or I felt it too. That's what was hiding in this cave. Oh, cool. Okay. So, wait. Okay, and then that's originally where we came from. So then, what's up here, really quickly? Oh, okay, here we talk about, okay, here's where the bridge is broken. A 
there's another one of the spirit things. Yeah, we'll probably we're probably gonna be able to get access to this after. Okay, let's go talk to the ghost. Traces of a struggle. An echo hangs on it. <clears throat> we definitely need the rifle for sure. Okay. Now the past is mine to see. What do we got? I can't. I can't do it no more. On your feet, Lind. We don't no. give up. I've had enough. There's no way up. There's no way down. For days we've eaten nothing but boiled shoe leather. I'm done. We don't give up. <laughs> Leave me be. God be damned, I'm sick of carrying you! What are you doing? Don't hurt me! I hate you. I hate you! Oh! Ben died in the fall. And now his maggoty ghost is back to haunt the friend who pushed him. Jacob delusional. Did he really forget what he did? Maybe his guilt got the better of his reason. We need to find the body. If the wolves haven't gotten there first. Definitely need to find the body. Okay, stop it, please. Okay, there's the body. Let me just grab this first. Perfect. Right, and we just climbed out from there. Oh, shite on a short stick. Bloody hell. Lad's been torn to pieces. No, wait. Eaten. He's been carved with a knife. Oh, he's eating he's him. Meat. Still no tie. At Jacob's hovel, perhaps? Loki, tone it down. We don't call people that. This is the dude's a cannibalism. Ca cannibal. Cannibal. Blech. Jacob was eating meat. Jacob was eating Ben. Poor, desperate, starving boys. Sometimes you must do what it takes to survive. I mean, on a slightly good part, at least the guy was dead before he started eating him? I guess? I mean, he still killed his friend, but... <laughs> Ew! tie that binds the ghost. The tie's probably in that box. Uh, 
that was locked in the house. Mm. You can't throw a rock and hit a wolf out here. Oh, supposedly there's no animals. There's nothing out here. Lately. Like, no animals, nothing. I mean, according to- oh, hello. That's not the right way. According to him. Yeah. Did we miss a few? Can I join in too? Maybe, maybe, maybe only we can see the army of wolves. Maybe. Somebody hasn't seen the movie Society of Snow about the 19th century. Yeah. Oh, I've seen pretty much any movie that involves cannibalism. Alive. Ravenous. I started watching Society of Snow. That's true, that's true. Maybe, maybe he just really wanted to eat his friend. Are we judging him? Alpha Glutton, oh boy. Standing by. Possession incoming. all the fun. What? We you stop complaining? And when you're desperate, you do desperate things. Oh, for sure, for sure. But mm, I think I probably would die. Let's look for our tie while Jacob's outside. This box! A hand-wooden wooden bowl and spoon used by Jacob. This tie is doused with the essence of its ghost. Once a closure has severed the ghost bond to the world, this essence will be automatically consumed by Antea to make her stronger. Oh. I think I found our tie. How did I not notice it before? There were so many spectral stains, it's a wonder we found it at all. Come on, let's talk to Ben. Oh, Ben. Okay, I was like, wait, don't we have to go talk to the guy? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, wait, we're summoning. <clears throat> so I should order the ghost to appear now. Let's do it. You're not Jacob. Who's you? My name is Red McCraith. A Scot. You? Antea Duarte. 
We're banishers. We can help you. <laughs> I'm beyond help. Where's Jacob? We know what befell you, Benedict. What keeps you here? Revenge? He does. He waits and waits and waits on me. He'll not face what he has done, and I cannot go. I cannot go. But I'll not hate him. How could I? We thought he'd acted willfully, planned it. Tell the truth. We thought I'm a liar. No. Jacob is a kind and godly man. Pure and true, always. He's the very best of us. And yet, though I denied it, I saw it coming. I became wary. Some part of me knew what he was thinking, because I was thinking it too. What do you want from Jacob? Do you seek revenge? I seek no vengeance. He is I, and I am him. Okay. Why do you not confront him? Why not show yourself? I did. He thought me alive. He showed me staking scavenged. He was so proud. He offered me a share. He needs to face the truth. To accept what he has done to both of us. At night, he'd read scripture. God would mind us if we were good and honest. Jacob taught me that. We were good. We lived honest lives. We kept to ourselves, minded our business, and no one else's. So tell me, Banisher, what did we do to deserve this? This was not God's doing. Another powerful entity is at work here. New Eden is cursed. Then God has forsaken us, and we are doomed. Oh boy. You tried many times to leave this place. I tried and failed. Week on week, month on month, maybe. We went in circles. The woods are tricky, sir. Treacherous. Mean. Round and round we went. Round and round and back again. Jacob said you both had nightmares. The same nightmare. Aye. And yet we got no sleep. Couldn't tell truth from fantasy. The shadows seemed to flicker at the corners of our eyes. How long have you and Jacob been out here in the woods? Some winters now, but this one, it never ends. No way out, no way in. We were alone, not an animal in sight. No, when things changed, we got stuck. <laughs> These godforsaken woods. Okay. Thank you, Benedict. Perhaps we'll talk again. Perhaps we shall, Banisher. Perhaps we shall. Jacob must confess. I fear the truth will break him. Yeah, but... We gotta do it. Oh, there to you, Jacob. Mr. McCraith, sir? I'm sorry, Jacob, we must talk. Something has happened to Benedict. What? Where is he? What happened? Come on now, Jacob. If something's happened, Ben, say so. Where is he? The rifle's gone? <gasps> Benedict is in pain. For his sake, you need to remember what happened. You need to remember what you did. But I... No. I would never... I couldn't hurt him. I love him. 
Jacob, look at me. It's safe to remember. Now tell me, what happened on that cliff top? I was tired. So tired. Hunger was digging holes in me, burning in my throat. I could think of nothing else. We don't give up. We don't give in. But I wanted to. I wanted it all to stop. Yet you gave up on Benedict, and then you turned on him. I failed him. I failed Benedict. I was so angry, so angry. He kept pushing me. We kept, we argued, and I couldn't think. When I saw him lying there on the ground, lifeless, the whisper said, it was him or me, him or me. I would have died. I should have died. My sins, I deserve no better. Oh, I'm not sure on that one. I failed God. I failed my friend. I'm a monster. I deserve no mercy. No. You're just a sinner, begging for help. We both faced a choice, simple and awful, to kill or to die. You struck first and here we are. Take a bite of his butt. <laughs> Do you forgive me? Our fates are in the hands of others now. Yes. Banisher, do your job. If you're to come back, if we're to use the ritual we spoke of, this is when it starts. Red. If we take one step along that path... Jacob is ready to die. The others won't be. We'll tell lies. We'll harvest the essence of the living. I'll shoulder the blame. As the man says, we face a choice. Simple and awful. Do we kill? To be together again? Or do we part forever? We must decide now. You have reached the closure of a haunting case. As a banisher, you must decide. Blame the haunted inhabitant, ascend the ghost, or banish the ghost. Each choice will have consequences, specifically on the way Red and Antia evolve as a couple. Reminder, if Red wishes to bring Antea back to life, he must blame the largest numbers of living settlers. Okay, um... Oh, that's hard! Yeah, but I want to bring my wife back. But is that con is that considered a bad ending? Bringing your wife, like saving your 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 loved one? I mean, okay, I know you're killing a bunch of other people, yada yada yada. But you know, logically, you know. Oof. 
It's opposing the balance between the dead and the living. I feel like you're gonna play this more than once to get different endings. Oh, 100%. 100%. I feel like right now, it's, it's like the game is playing like on moral choice. Like, my logic. Would I be able to kill innocent people? Okay, maybe not innocent, but like random people to bring back somebody that I love? Probably. Probably. Because they're random people, I don't really care. But, we all know that usually when people come back from the dead, they're not exactly the same. Y'all seen Pet Cemetery, right? But are they gonna play it down that path? I bet your husband feels all warm inside now. No, 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 he doesn't trust me. You know, I remember the story where, um... I got scared one time and I pushed my husband out the door. So if there would have been like a zombie or something, he would have died. <laughs> so listen, listen, if I could push my husband, random people, they, they got nothing on me. It, it, it's an easy choice for me. <laughs> I, I have no issues. No issues there. Not just Pet cemetery, but yeah. <sighs> okay, listen, y'all. I'm sorry. This is probably gonna be a very hard choice. But I really want to bring her back. See, if we ever end up in a zombie apocalypse, stay the hell away from me. Listen, the way I see it, I am extremely loyal and trustworthy as long as I'm not in danger. If I'm in danger, then whoever's near me, you better be careful. <laughs> I'll do like Shane in Walking Dead, you know, whenever he like takes Otis out so he can get away. I'd have no issues doing that shit. <laughs> okay, well, yep, fuck it. We're going down the probably evil path. I'm sa I'm saving her. I'm done pretending to be moral here. Don't judge me too hard, chat, okay? Two guys in the woods in a bear enters camp. One guy stops to put on his shoes and the other guy says, what are you doing? We have to leave. Guy putting on his shoes says, I don't have to outrun the bear. Exactly! I just have to outrun the person beside me. And if you accidentally trip and fall while said running happens, well, you know, that's on you. <laughs> okay. Get, fuck it, we're doing it. Goodbye, Jacob. Okay. You will sacrifice the settler with a blame ritual. This decision will contribute to Antea's resurrection, since a resurrection ritual will only work if the largest number of settlers are sacrificed. Okay. Uh, you will gently let the ghost ascend from this world with a release ritual. This is this decision will contribute to Antea's ascent. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. So there's like three cho three ending choices. Resurrection, Ascension, or her banishment. Dude, dude, why would you banish her, though? Okay, we're doing it. Jacob Lind, you believe hey. you merit no mercy, but your suffering must have an ending. You murdered your friend. The man you called your brother. You fed on him. Then you denied your part in his ending and bound his spirit to this realm. You can never right this wrong. But the truth and your death will ease his suffering. There can be no half measures here. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Benedict, my friend, forgive me. Whoa!
I took the life of a man I loved and ate his flesh. This I deserve. It's done. You may feed on his essence. I think I need a moment. You can rest inside. You know the, the sad thing about this? I don't think I'm a bad person, though. I do kind of feel bad about making that choice. <laughs> Even though we're going to be killing pretty much everybody in the game. <laughs> I do feel a little bit bad. Yeah, purple has a choice. Color is not a good sign. And the, the cutscene looks really sweet, though. Yeah. So the thing is, right, they're trapped in the woods. They can't leave. So there's literally, there was nothing to eat. And after he killed his friend in a fit of rage, he resorted to eating him to survive. So, like, I, I get it. But where I'm from, cannibalism is highly frowned upon. Just saying. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. I think we're gonna need to do two playthroughs so we can be a good guy after this. Did they just admit she tried candles? No, no, no. But I'm not a bad guy. But let's let's let's. let's I, I'm, I'm juggling. I'm juggling my moral choices here. Okay. I shed a tear. Okay. I felt bad. I better not have to boss fight her later. Did a meat? Listen, listen. If I tried cannibalism, that would be messed up. Consider the fact that I barely eat meat naturally. <laughs> so like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh boy. No more maggots. Ben is gone for good. Can I have the box? Give it me the box. What? Eight coins? That's it? Poor lad. His food is the meat of the matter. Are you making it? That's horrible. Never heard a worse pun. I like it. I do it with bananas, so whenever we eat a banana, we are being cannibals. We share our DNA with bananas? What? Be happy with your eight coins? No, no, no. I wanted like more than eight coins, thank you very much. It's bananas! <laughs> I would really like to hope that I did not like evolve from a banana. I don't know much about science and all, but like, man. Now the rifle's gone. I like, where are you hiding? I didn't actually read the whole post. You probably should have. Oh, we have more. Okay, uh, where are we? Oh, is this her? Oh, wait. Unveil? Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Leap. Antea can cross ethereal portals that act like shortcuts through the invisible into the incarnate. In combat, Antea can dash towards the enemies, dealing a small amount of damage. Ooh. Ah, the leap manifestation has been unlocked after the consumption of the essence soaking Benedict's tie. 40 to 60% of our DNA is the same as bananas. Really? Did you just Google it? Because if that's the case, I'm going to make fun of my husband later because he likes bananas. Like our ancestry or something is more like genes, I guess? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Parent restores 15 spirit points. Uh, charged at heavy attacks damage is increased by 20%. 
Perfect. So I switch it in Tamrin after you block an attack to trigger a punch attack that ignores resistance. Defeating an enemy with heavy attack reduces the next damage taken by 90%. Ooh. You could say that's bananas. <laughs> Team assist. The fourth heavy attack triggers a punch attack that ignores resistance. Damage dealt by red is increased by 30% against full health enemies. Ooh, I like that. Spectral ignition. Defeating an enemy with punch attack triggers an area of effect dealing spectral damage. Defeating an enemy with punch attack refills the banished gauge by 20%. Ooh. Each enemy hit by punch attack increases the damage of punch attack by 7%. This effect can be accumulated. Recess after the switching. Using leap while the banished gauge is full increases leap damage by 500% but consumes all banished points. Perfect. So switch Shantaya right after the third light attack to trigger a punch attack that ignores resistances and knocks down the target enemy. Banish points gained are increased by fifty. Um, wait, banish points gained are increased by fifteen percent, but maximum deduction charges is reduced by one. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Huh. Ooh. I kind of like this one. So, okay, so if I pick this, then obviously hers is locked out. Spectral damage. Hmm. Oh, I have no spirit points. Okay, okay, okay. Obtained after finishing haunted cases. An essence allows to activate a presence. Oh, okay, these are her her points, presences. Oh, okay, okay. So we can't touch these because we don't have this. Pairing restores 15 spirit points. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I get it, I get it. Because you can't... It's either her, her points or my points. We can't have both of them. kind of thing. Maybe? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I don't do heavy attacks. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we'll go with that then. Okay. Okay, so amulet we can upgrade. Because we have enough for this. Okay, now we can't do anything else there. Uh... Right, what did we need for this one again? Scourge or Crescent? Oh yeah, we don't have that yet. No, pieces of eight, one coin. Okay, so that looks like that's all we can do for now. I guess we can go sleep, I guess. And then she's gonna be all creepy and watch me all night again. She shifts and walks around. It, it is creepy. That man killed and ate his friend. When I was a soldier, I heard many stories of those besieged eating their own. Some were true. Famine is a ferocious master. Jacob was hungry. Just yeah, like you. Just like me. I never thought I'd blame anyone. I've not killed since I quit the army. I swore I'd never kill again. 
It's not too late to change our minds. We made the right choice. We made the right choice. We made it together. No turning back. Then, so I may have my resurrection, we'll steal human essence. We'll kill people for our own ends. Living, breathing people. We'll be banishers no longer. Red is about to, oh. <clears throat> Red is about to swear an oath to Antea, and together they will choose her fate. Choices you make when bringing closure impacts your chances to fulfill the promise made to one another. Remember, you remain free to make any choice you want when bringing closure, no matter the oath you have sworn, as long as you are ready to face the consequences. Oh! So wait, so if I'm understanding right, if we promise resurrection and then we change our mind, she might go like bad shit nuts and try to kill me? Right? Is that what I'm understanding? Because we're breaking our promise? Red swears he will help Antea come back to life once they retrieve her body from New Eden's meeting house. To keep this oath, Red will have to sacrifice as many settlers as possible with a blame ritual. Okay. Red swears he will help Antea Antea's ghost peacefully leave this world once they retrieve her body from New Eden's meeting house. Four endings. Good, bad, true, and secret. Oh. Okay, so... Resurrection, Ascension, Banish, and then whatever that secret one is then, right? Those, are, those would be the four? All based on Oath. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Maybe we got like Ascension, Resurrection, Banishment, Betrayal. <laughs> Yeah, secret is probably like betrayal or something. So it'd be, it'd be nice if you could like save right near the end and then just change your options. Keep it, keeping your promise. Oh, 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 I like that one. Hmm. Okay. I promise to save you. Right. That's that settled. Thank you. I hope you've no regrets. Well, I might have, like, Soon a little I'll bit. I'll reclaim my life. We will pay the highest of prices. We banishers may call it blaming, but our hearts will know we're taking lives. How many? I don't know. Perhaps too many to ask of you. I want us back, Red. I want revenge on what killed me. I want to live. I want it too. With the whole of my heart. No price too high. I will do it. By my oath, I swear it, my love. I'll see you back from the dead. said that she would do the same thing for me now whether she was telling the truth or not we don't know but she did basically say that if I died she would do the same the life of a man I loved and ate his flesh. This I deserve. Jacob's body has disappeared. Eaten by animals? Or by Ben Stoughton's maggots? Should have buried him. 
Let's get out of this shite hole. Whoa! Look at I that! the life of a man I loved and ate his flesh. This. It's only been like a day. Whoa. Whoa. Um. Um. Let's go back to the bridge. I feel stronger. Let's see if I was right about those spectral stains. The bridge? Ah, oh, okay, okay. That's it. I think I can jump the gap. Your bane rings will help. Can you find the place where the stains align? Where the stains align? Oh yeah, we have the rope. Okay, yeah. Right. Never better. Okay, that was pretty cool. Fix the rope here. Hmm. That way we can come back anytime. Another road to nowhere. Can we jump this? Spectral stains are out of reach. I've nothing to work with here. So we find another way. Stupid country. When we get back to New Eden Town, you can make a complaint. Okay, there's a lot of weird stuff happening here. That 
jump was quite something. Ghosts are quite something. But I feel clumsy. I have no idea what I'm doing. You'll master it. You've mastered everything else. She's gonna master being a ghost. No way through here, neither, as far as I can see. With Antonia, you use the leap to engage combat and get instantly close to your target. Such manifestations consist of coins, but it will need to cool down before being used. Yeah, I don't need to do that. Oh, I did not want to do that, though. Pizza. Whoops. Down my vanish point! I hit the wrong button! <laughs> Whoops. Something's here. Hidden. It's up there! There are stains. If they line up, perhaps we can jump. I'm sure you can. Just try to be gentle this time. Up here? You found a cluster of spectral activity. As a banisher, it is your job to eliminate the threat. Your health points and deconstruction charter will fully charge at the start and at the end of this encounter. Oh. The right words of power may force the nearby specters to show themselves. My voice commands you! Unveil! Gavamakas and Alice. Oh, there we go. I can help. Almost there. possible I probably did
now this is tricky. something. Right. Here. That's high. Trust me. Pattern needs to line up. Oh. <sighs> yes. Remind me to close my eyes next time. Woo. The year is 1695. Of this, at least I am sure. Following the news, this was a mistake. After abandoning our homes and trudging the dark woods through rain and storm, our group arrived in what was once a hunter's camp. The bridge to Boston is down, and we can go no further. Our flight to freedom was a fool's errand. The memory of our home in New Eden Town seems distant now. We had friends and neighbors. The schoolhouse rang with laughter. The meeting house had a minister who cared for us deeply. When we left with thick, st thick skins banned, the New Eden Town we built was no more. I miss it deeply. Beth misses it too. I Though she hides it. We're going back, packing our things once more and going home. To hell with whatever prowls the woods. God be with us. So I still can't, so I can't shoot that down yet, and I can't grab that yet. Trap. Jacob Lind mentioned a hunter's camp. It may be close. Something's there. Something alive. Yes. Who are you, and where did you spring from? I've come from New Eden Town. That's a very long way from here, sir. Who are you? My name's Red McCraith. I work for the selectmen of New Eden Town. I'm a banisher. Didn't you and the other one die in the meeting house? I fell in the water. And the tide took me. I survived. 
up to now anyway. I've never seen a banisher before. I expected more. Could I please continue this conversation with my feet on the ground? Easy now. Stop your jiggling. I'm not jiggling. Hold still, I said. You try holding still when some lassie's shooting at you. In that case, Banish, you may escape the trap yourself. Wait. What? <laughs> no, no, come on. Our camp lies downhill. I'll wait for you there. Come back here. Shit! Shouldn't have called her a lassie. I suppose you can help me, can you? That was entertaining. <laughs> it's good to see you smile. Wait. Something's there. Something alive. No. You might want to hurry it up here. Time for me to shine. When enemies are blocking, you can break through their defenses with specific moves with red shards and his manifesto. That's perfect switches. Oh, God. I join in too? To them devils as dirties, the place with the rotten having bloody leavings on their sharp edge, broken bloody arrowheads and whatnot for shame. This place is empty so long it's rotting. Oh, we got a new jewelry piece. Ooh, fancy, fancy. Dodging with Antea increases the damage of the next punch attack by 30%. Oh, noise. Do I have it equipped? Oh, I do. Okay, I was like, um, hello? Buttons? Okay. Oh, there's nothing here. Gotta admit, that guy looked pretty cool. He's a bone walker. Oh. oh, I didn't want to read that. I wasn't trying to read it. Hmm. No idea if these collectibles are gathered in order or not, but very okay, cool. Signs of life ahead. I knew he 
Pikachu is gonna bark. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. No barking. I'm so not gonna remember those those pieces. The locations with the gun stuff. What are you crying about? This must be the camp the rope lady talked about. Doesn't look like much from here. Who was she anyway? Some species of huntress. She took no liking to you. Hard times like these, fewer folk will help a stranger. I mean, we did good against those bone walkers. You did good. Strange to see the dead from this side. They're both oddly familiar and a thousand times more ghastly. Fortifications. Grim face is not a good sign. So rest and restock, then onwards to New Eden Town. Yes, ma'am. Oh, she looks like a powerful one. Look at that essence. Good day, madam. Good day, madam. And a good day to you too, sir. I've not seen your face before. Where did you spring from then? That, madam, is a long story. I'm Red McCraith. I'm the banisher. Edith Keen. Miss Keen, if you prefer. There, we're no longer strangers. Though the times remain strange indeed. Not bad, eh? Oh, I don't doubt we'll prevail, but right now we're tired and hungry. Are you out here alone? In the New World, I mean. No family back in England? There's no husband, if that's what you're asking, and I don't want one neither. I have a plot to farm and a brother to feed, and that's enough. I mean, look around you. How could I possibly want more than all of this? Why should I want silk? When I have all this shit. You're a man alone in the world. You're not bad looking, but you don't look rich. Know what you should do? Find yourself a rich man and marry him. Ha! Oh. <laughs> What's new? Well. I'm sorry, sir. Too busy to talk. God will bless this place, but he needs us to do the work. You understand? Yeah, of course. I must go. Take care, sir. 
With God's help, we shall all see better days. I... maybe, maybe not. Good day to you. I'm Red McCraith. The Banisher? How did you get here? With difficulty, I must admit. Aye. Only them as can handle a weapon dare brave the woods. The rest of us blockheads are stuck here in camp, waiting to be fed. Daniel Keane, by the by. Any kin to Edith? Aye. We're twins. Oh, okay. Not that we're alike. She likes her stories. Likes to hear herself talk. <laughs> she likes a little drama, does Edith. Mind you, lately there's enough of it about. I was wondering, what brought you to the new world? Why leave home for the unknown? Like so many, we came looking for a better life. <laughs> a better life indeed. Mm -hmm. So, Daniel, what's new? Sorry to turn you away, Mr. Becraith, but I'm behind on my chores. Even the poor farmer must do his bit, eh? Okay. Goodbye for now, Daniel. Aye. Try not to die in the meanwhile. Aye. I'll do my best. Huh? I need to get a rope position there. Strange woman figure found near a cursed chest in the whispering trees west of the hunter's camp. A cursed chest? Oh, that's considered a cursed chest? Who's that? 
Yes. Something's here. Ah, here. Drop me down this way. Okay. That'll put me there. Ready and waiting. Okay, cool. Found a couple of collectibles, even though that wasn't really what I was looking for. Welcome back. in terms of open world exploration. So it's pretty sweet. Now, the only thing is, I'm not sure here if I'm supposed to be here just yet. <laughs> I kind of found, like, a little, like, hidden location, and I decided to, like, go into the said location. And now I'm like, wait, where am I? Okay, wait, before I go up here... Done. Let me just check this spot first then. Freezing quite a lot. Not your fault. I'm in the underground. It's buffering. That's fine. I'll say I'm exploring somewhere that I'm not 100% sure that I'm supposed to even be. Just yet.
But the game's really the the game's really sweet. Here now I can place, I think, the rope, right? Yes. Okay, perfect, perfect. Now I can come back here anytime. Too bad. Perhaps there's a key. <clears throat> Perhaps you should help me find said key. down there definitely would not be right. <laughs> now where would you be hiding the key? Wait, what's that? Wait. The altar of the incarnate. Yeah, see like we're so we're supposed to be in this little village, right? So, whenever I was heading towards the shop, behind the shop there was this, like, little path you can take. So I was like, oh, okay, you know, maybe it's gonna lead me to, like, a treasure box, right? Oh, yeah, it, it led me to some treasure, collectibles and everything, and now I'm in this place going, um... Well. <laughs> well... <laughs> well. Okay, so I have to come back to that that cabin. I gotta get in there. Okay, so here we jump down from it. Okay. But would the key actually be this far away? I guess it can make sense. I mean, if the owner of said cabin died over here. I can help. Oh, oh. Found something. We're touching it. We probably shouldn't touch it. Yes. Okay, 
Okay, so it doesn't look like there was any key over here. Yeah, she has that ability. Okay, so let's go down this way. Oh. Okay, something was glowing. Oh, 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 oh! Dust? A. It's like, no key? Okay, that, okay, I know where I am now. Huh. <laughs> at, at first, like, it, it, like, it, it took me, like, a second to click in. It's just like, Ghosts, right? And I was just like, wait, did we meet a lawyer? <laughs> okay, so if I follow, th this is me navigating with my finger. If we follow this path here, that'll take me to whatever the hell this is. But wait, was I not going in that direction? But can I not, wait, can I highlight it? Wait. Oh, I can, okay, okay. Uh. Right, and if I go this way, right. Dude, I really need to get like a gun or something here. good thing about it it does have like a sound when you're near when you're near so as long as you like actually backtrack to explore if you listen properly you, sh you should be able to hear them okay so I'm pretty sure I was here maybe maybe not probably not I see a mushroom that we didn't have. I know they did say things things do respawn. Oh, oh, this is new. Uh, um, okay, you know what? Mm, I'm gonna save. Just in case. Let's just go see here. And Okay, sorry. Let's head this way. Darkwood Falls. Well, 
lot of ghosts here. Okay, my hand is not glowing at the moment. So what I needed is the other direction. So let me just look. Okay, there's definitely something there. I don't know what Twitch does, but in the underground, it cuts every other minute. YouTube works perfectly. Oh, it's so weird. But I'm glad that YouTube at least works, though. climb up this thing. Okay, that makes me cross this way. So the, the glowing thing wasn't here. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Red, there is something wicked placed upon this. I can sense it. You can just sense it? It's hidden, even for me. But I can hear its dark will. Like a curse or a spell. A curse or a spell, eh? Maybe Seeker could help us with this. Spirit unbounding. Hey! Thank you, thank you, thank you! I'm a latte now! Not gonna lie, a latte sounds really, really good right about now. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, wait. Speaking of lattes. Okay, so we can't do this yet. Oh, wait. Okay, so we don't have this power to break this rock. Okay. Now, I'm assuming I can put a rope here as well. You would think, eh? The prologue bit, and honestly, oh my god, it is one of the best prologues I've ever seen. I love this game already. Isn't it addictive? Like, my god. The fact that, like, the game is, like, open world and we, we we can explore, it's dangerous. My plan of, like, going, hey, main story, um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so the cursed chest, we can't open it yet. We don't have the required manifestation yet. Okay, but at least now they're highlighted on the map. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, so at least now we know we can come back to here after. Now, I just need to, uh... 
I guess go this way now. Right, because this will take me down here. Where is this place? Okay, if I jump... If I jump here, one second. Oh, no, that will take me to heading back this way. Oh, but there's also a path going up this way. Okay, no, no, let's not go this way. Okay, let's back this way. Okay, so that's later. Huh? Wait. Oh, look her. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can't go there yet. Okay. Open! Sesame! No, nope, that doesn't work. Okay. Well, we shall return. So we're gonna keep going this way. Um, let's place another rope here. Oh, wait, never mind. That's not a rope. That's a wall. Never mind. Oh, I think I know where I am. I think. Just buffer is here just quickly. You see the big pickle and can you keep going the audio? Hmm. I'm just happy that YouTube actually works though. And not have like both of them bugging out. Okay, now this. Can I put a rope here? No? Okay, but there's a Okay, I can climb back though. I'm right here, you know. It gets people like a head start to get getting used to it. Okay, so that's where I could have climbed down from. There's a creepy ass cave there, or it looks like a cave, I don't even know. Okay, is this where I wait a minute? Here, okay, I gotta go back now. Eh, hey, well, I appreciate it, definitely. Hmm? Oh, another wall that I can't break yet. Definitely, definitely. Okay, and then what about here? Okay, he's putting a rope.
Dear God. Okay, so we can't get that yet. This is why exploring is dangerous at times. Hello? If we want to stop for a wee minute, this place will do. Oh, well, I found a new campsite. Ooh! Ooh, that means we'll have a teleportation location. See something shining. Oh ho ho. Okay, okay, okay. So then later we'll be able to put a rope here to come back to this place. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, let me just take a look. Okay. So we got second wind. Melee damage 9, block damage percentage 85, vitality 34. Defeating an enemy with melee attacks restores 7% health points. Oh, okay. It's not a rank two, though. No, no, no. The worlds pretty much stay the same. Just going into the other layer will allow you to see, like, any spectral things. So, like, if there's, like, hidden treasures or paths or something, right? That only he, she can handle, then it highlights it. The leaves and the trees and that my fame was such a low graphics, they were a mess. Oh, no. Oh, is that your game? Mmm. Ooh. Yeah, so it's not like like uh, like medium, right? Where the world like completely changes, like whenever you're in the other layer. Okay, so looks like here, without the rope, we can't progress up this way. I said fame. I don't even know why I said fame when I knew what you were talking about, but I read it the way I seen it. So this, so the cool part is we do have the instant travel, so you can pretty much travel back to any camp that you have, which is good anyway. So this will have to deal with this later. This I'm going to assume we probably circle it from here. I would assume this path maybe will take you about this way. And then we'll have that shortcut later unlocked. Yeah, because definitely we're not supposed to be here when you think about it. We don't have any of these abilities. Okay, so now basically objective. I know... Oh god, the only other fast travel is back down to Jacob's place if we do it like that. 
Yeah. I know we, if we run down this way, we can grab this quickly and then just circle our way back. Yeah, so basically what happens is this, right? So, if you're in an air... It, so, you see the green, like a cross from the water? Those things will get highlighted. So, we can't, we can't see it in... A, like for in our eyes naturally so it's not like super painful on the eyes compared to like some games everything still looks pretty much the same just that, that faint like mist layer with like the green i feel like it's like it's really well done So once you get to a camp, if you use the fast travel, then you could basically travel to any of the places that, you know, have your sh have, have your shit. <laughs> okay, here we're not going to touch this right now. So I just want to see something here. Oh yeah, wristband. We can upgrade the wristband at least. Um for a little bit like we're probably gonna go back to it eventually just with the amount of issues that we were having with the pc i didn't want to make it more straining on everything with like the third platform okay so we need an elite gem for that So it looks like we're good. Yeah. Figured might not make my, my shit more difficult. <laughs> I played the Arkham games and ended up in detective mode the whole time. See, I don't mind going into like those types of modes as long as it's well done where like you're not getting like a headache the whole time you're exploring in in that area. Cause then it's just it's so rough on the eyes. Okay. I'm gonna um I'm gonna upgrade this weapon just for now. Okay, it becomes a level two if we upgrade it like that. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, and it gives me more health also if I equipped it. Wisdom goes down, but my vitality and my health goes up. Okay, I think I'm gonna use that weapon then. The saber and the firebane then. Oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Hmm. I can't think of the game that we played before that, um, there we go, that we had to basically, like, always jump back in between, like, realms and stuff, but man, it was, it was real painful on the eyes, like, because of the colorings. God forbid I remember what it's called. We've, we've played so many games. Okay. Okay, so we can't get that yet. Again. Oh, oh wrong way. Wrong way. Uh, didn't I just... Sorry. Okay. Uh... Yes, I don't need to jump down there. I was just here. Now, we're gonna go here. Didn't I just come here or not? This is new. Wait, did I? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was here. I was here. Okay. Okay, so this is the other thing. Oh, so there's another body up here that we can't get yet. Did you feel that? It's close. Corpses. 
We could manifest what hides here. But it scares me. Am I gonna get my ass kicked? <laughs> Spirit and flesh, I summon you! They brought more flames. To me. Nothing about this just yet. Loki, will you stop? We can deal with that later. Okay, there's the one wall. Uh, wait, there's a cave. Will you? Okay, can we not? Uh, uh, okay, I can't go there? Or wait. Um, have we been here? Will you? Okay, I literally see a wall. Eh? Okay, I feel like I'm being scammed here. How the hell? The bush is too powerful! Campfire next week? Oh. Oh, this is gonna bug me! How do I get in here? Oh, wrong button. Did they say what day? Weirdest thing ever. Okay. It's not glowing green, though. It's just a basic bush. That's why it's kind of confusing. Like, I know we gotta come back. 
back to this place later anyway, but it's... It's still a little weird. Because you can't enter it from, from this location. Maybe you're right. Maybe I do need a skill for it. Because even here I can't come. Because there's the wall climb. I'll just have to like remember where this is. And I did not find out how to get up here. Oh right 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 we don't have the skill to get up there either yet. Okay. Guys, I think for now we're done in this spot. For the moment. So now leaving this area quickly. Okay, where am I? Oh, I'm here. Okay, so see, I wish I could mark here. Okay, but it looks like I'm heading in the direction that I wanted to kind of check. Anyway. Oh, right, right, right. And here we don't have. Um, I don't think I can climb here. Or can I? Oh, oh, hello. Focus, man. And then here there's nothing. Okay, so for this place too, we'll have to circle back here a different way later then. Once we... So this takes me... Okay, let me see. Okay, here. So then... Okay, so assuming then probably this way will loop us these, these areas after. Okay. On a good note... We're almost back on the correct path to head back to the town. No, keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. And then this should be the cave to take me back.
That's not too bad, though. I think our exploring was uh, rather fruitful. Even though, you know, I didn't realize how far we would end up going in terms of exploring. So you want a map? Do you wish to sail the seas, or perhaps to know which way is Boston? Or do you wish to travel west and claim more land that is not yours? Oh. I just want to walk in the woods without getting lost. I will teach you to draw your map. Oh, 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 okay, I'm sorry, can I just move out of the So, mark the camp as your starting point. Trace the path along it, note each landmark. By journey's end, you have a map. But beware, you must know where is north. The sun rises in the east, journeys south, and sets in the west. See? We ain't seen the sun in a long time, Mistress Jane. Then, my friend, you shall need a compass too. You can pay me for that later, when you're back from your walk in the woods. Hmm. Wait, I need to talk to you. I don't know you. Red McRaith, here by Kate Newsmith's invitation. A pleasure. Ah, he who swung from the tree. News travels fast. Thank you. What's your name? You may call me Jane. You're the first true local I've met. Where are the others? Here there is no local tribe. Huh. Why's that? The Albanaki left these lands many generations ago. They believed the ground cursed, bringing bad luck upon all who walked it. Ah, so you're not from around here either. No. And yet I'm less of a foreigner than any of you. Tell me, how are things going in camp? We left New Eden Town to escape the curse. Now we're trapped here. Kate and Thickskin work hard, but game is scarce. And hope is scarcer. I'll leave you then. Good day. Is she not a merchant? Who might you be? Credence Scudder, sir. At your service, sir. Hmm. And who are you? Your lordship? I'm the banisher, Red McCraith. And while I welcome your civility, you may call me Red. A banisher? Have you come to save us from the beast? The beast? Uh, maybe. I'm not entirely clear on that whole situation just yet. The beast? The monster in the woods? Everyone knows about the beast. You should talk to Kate. Maybe she doesn't want you to know about the beast. The beast? Okay. Many fled New Eden because of the curse. Why did you stay? Me? Oh, I don't know. I stayed because Cousin Beloved said so, I suppose. I always do what Beloved says. Things go better for me. He's sweet and lucky to have someone to take care of him. You're a man of loyalty. You must believe in your community very much. Do you mean people? Yeah. I love people. Really love them. Without people, well, I'd be alone. When things are bad, best stick close to them you know, don't you think? Okay. How that are things weird. going around here, Credence? I uh, wouldn't know much, sir. I just do what I'm told. You should talk to the newsmiths. They're in charge around here. A good day to you, Mr. Scudder. God grant you the same, sir. Thank you for the follow. Okay. Is she not? Jane. Banisher. Hello. Okay, so she's not the merchant. Okay. I'll leave you then. I think that she might be the merchant, but... Are you? Red McRaith, sir. Your friendly visiting banisher. 
I met your companion in New Eden Town. Since then, sadly, things have not improved, right? right. In hard times and harder places, a man needs help. May I interest you in my broad range of useful and reasonably priced commodities? Yeah, actually. Show me your wares. What you got? You'll find what you need, I'm sure. Oh. Oh, probably help if I move my mouth. I was like, why is this thing not working? This anatomic riddle written by a stranger indicates the location of a treasure. Obviously, I'm gonna buy that. I don't want to like lose money. I admit, I didn't expect to find a store out here. Wherever people go, it seems commerce follows. Things are bad, but as long as there's business to be done, all is not lost. You brought all these goods with you. Can you carry them on your back? With my weak heart? Of course not. I left New Eden with a horse and cart. After we ate the horse, I employed my fellow travelers as porters. Oh, they ate the horse. You paid people to carry your goods? Uh, my fortune is in my wares, and my heart and back lack the strength to carry. Well, I hope the horse was tasty. Look about you. Folk here come through hell for this. <laughs> My provisions make their lives just that little bit less awful. And all at reasonable prices. You can't lie, the prices and are on pretty a personal good. note, I find that even the worst of times are made a little better by a bulging purse. <laughs> I've never tried it myself, but I know hubby What's loves the it. Here? What's on your mind? Uh, you'll get no gossip from me, sir. At least not for free. I'll bid you good day. I mean, I've made it before. I just, I, I don't eat fish. Okay, so I'm assuming her house is up there. Okay, we're not... I know, I, I cried at that part. <laughs> okay, we're not gonna go there just yet, though. I just wanna just take a quick peek around the village really fast before we I feel like this is a good part to call it before like the next official mission starts so I just want to just look around just quickly I'm not gonna I'm not gonna wander too far. Okay, so yeah, this is not a bad spot. So coming in tomorrow, pretty much go up the path, go I'm assuming that's the hunter's camp. Or just follow the my arrow. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is good. Okay, 
Yeah, so where were we? Uh, I needed to go. Good morning. And also, thank you, thank you, thank you. I seen all the notifications. I was like, holy crap. <laughs> Like, hi, bye, 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 bye. <laughs> okay, her we already talked to. Okay, we're definitely gonna have to go into this house. There's a shiny object. Houses in the sewer. Oh my god, it's so fun. It's super fun. 10 10 recommend. I stopped for a bit, I wondered if those woke you up. No, they, yeah, no, 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 they, they do not. The only way, um, I would hear the sound is if I had, like, OBS opened at the time. That's it, because we definitely recommend. Yeah, so if OBS was open during the time, it would have scared the crap out of me. Oh. <laughs> hey! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because it's linked to Twitter. Yeah. Luckily, I have Twitter notifications on my phone. Not really. Make, uh, they don't make sound. Okay, so I can't enter this building yet. Okay. Uh, okay, not here. How's it going, Shan? here in a minute. And then this would take me to that. Okay, there is a cab in there. Maybe, maybe. Maybe. Oof. I have do not disturb mode on both my phones because if, if it's afternoon, I can't help you anyway. Mmm. Understandable for sure. Here. It's kind of how I have it, so that way I'm not flooded with like beeping sounds constantly. Thanks, you going. <laughs> Makes sense. Then you definitely want to have the phone uh, muted. Uh, King James's Bible. Basically. Just, just, just the typical Loki distractions. That's it. 
Nothing else. <coughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. I need to check something here. Am I accidentally leaving the village? Oh, this is other path. Wait. Oh, crap. Wrong button. Wait. Oh, okay. I came from here originally. Oh, okay. Oh, so there's like one, two, three. Four. There's four paths out of this village. Oh. And now the curiosity is getting the best of me. Okay, I should probably not go here then. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> Good morning. You haven't missed anything. My exploring in this village is, is not going over very well. <laughs> I found another path that, that I'm like, I kind of want to explore here. And it's like, oh my god. Just find the hunter that you're supposed to talk to. Okay, it's probably that that building. And then maybe everything will open up to me after I talk. You made it. Oh. Oh, because I finally found the path that I needed. Only took like a hundred years. Come up. I wish a word with you. Oi, give me a minute now. Wait, so I literally was standing there the whole time? Oh shit, okay. Oh. Because Throne says your items are in creator order and I was gonna ask, but then realized they're just in order by adding since you haven't changed it. Neither Diva nor Dally, Vanisher. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, you found us safely, Red McWraith. Aye. Well, thanks to you. I had to know you could look out for yourself. You're welcome to stay until you're told to leave. I'm Kate Newsmith. Far as you're concerned, I'm in charge round here. Uh, Newsmith? Anything to thick skin? Aye. We're sisters. Me and Antea, we met her in town when we first landed. Thickskin will return from the hunt soon enough. Sorry for your loss, by the by. Honestly, it took me forever to realize that I could do that. Like, forever. I did not know I could do that. I think I realized it, I think it was the other day, when I added in the, the random Funkos, I added in other stuff, right? And then I'm like, Oh, no, 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 wait. I wanted the Funkos back at the top of the list. And then I'm like, oh, oh, I can move things. <laughs> it's like, I've only been partnered with Ron for like 100 million years. And I did not know I could do that. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, maybe I should re re uh, readjust my, uh, how my age would be socks and underwear. <laughs> and they have like nice little character socks. Yeah, I feel like I need to, like, reorganize the, the order of the list. I got an email from Throne the other night that, um, some of the older, older, older Funkos that I added were out of stock. So I need to, like, remove them. And I was like, Sigh. so I need to do that after. Like, they're, like, old, 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 old ones that I had added. I was like, hey. <laughs> Why might you tell me to leave? He who don't pitch in pitches out. We'll not go hungry to feed him that don't contribute. Better than killing you for food, I suppose. 
Makes sense. I mean, I've always, I've always liked getting socks, though. As soon as you like fluff, fluffy socks. <laughs> All right, I'll stay a while. I have certain skills, if they may be of use. Our hearts are low. Nightmares plague our sleep. Do what needs doing, help who needs helping. Well, give me some names. Prudence Hick. A widow, like so many. She cooks. Lately she's cooked shite. He who puts the food aright is a hero indeed. Okay. How fares New Eden Town? I'm heading back that way. You're mad. There's no going back. There's not to go back to. We may be all that's left. New Eden Town now is naught but sorrow, pestilence and death. Some of our band were homesick. We heard them screaming in the woods. They oh, didn't yeah, come back. Something Sinkles. wicked prowls. Folk <laughs> dream of a murderous beast that'll kill them if they dare to leave camp. There was a second group. They never arrived. Makes Something sense. the beast got them. Like I say, we may be all that's left. Guilt. Dread. She puts a brave face on it, but the truth is in her eyes. I'll make the rounds. I'll pay my respects to Widow Hake and see what's the bar. If you can't find Prudence, ask Jane. They're close. Also, please check on our blacksmith. His already meager skills have lately declined. Talk to Jane, talk to Prudence, check the forge. Talk to anyone who needs help, which is probably everyone. Right. Got it. Which is probably everyone. One empty cabin remains. A tree fell on it. But you may have what's left. Welcome to the dark woods. Hmm. Hmm. Tell me about this beast. Though we've heard it howl, none have seen it. We've heard screaming too. And those who've traveled on have not returned alive. We hope against hope that they've found their way to Boston. As we must, if we're not to starve. But our dreams say they did not. There's really no way out. We can live here, on the edge of starvation, keeping our cheer as best we can. Or we can die in the woods, prey to a drooling beast. We choose to live. Okay. I'll take my leave of you for now. Rest. You'll need it for my sister's return. I mean, mine is like the cursed Chucky doll. It is a it is a really cool gift to get. Y you know. She seems to like me. Let's find your cabin and see how much. You know. Oh, okay, okay. That's the cabin that they're talking about. Okay. It's highly possible she may. There's a lock. We're gonna need a key. Can I have the key? So? My chores continue. Should I report on them now or would you rather wait? Catch me up when you're all done. Saves me hearing it twice. Oh, okay. Well, I was just gonna see if you had a key for that box, but okay. Fair enough. Yeah, cause it's all gonna come down to how many people in this village we gotta kill. Sounds bad, eh? Says it moves from time to time. I think her boyfriend is just a funnier guy than she realizes. <laughs> I mean, that's how I feel about my one doll. It's like, I don't know, man. <laughs> I've slept in worse. And it smells better than Jacob Lind's lean to. The worst thing about Jacob Lind was not the smell. Key to the 
trapper's reserves. Oh. Maybe that's the key that I needed. Okay, another Bible. My dear Evelyn, as you know, Alexander and I must go home. The newsmiths plan seemed the right one, but now God calls our hearts back to duty. The horses and their pastures are gone, but the house yet stands. We shall rebuild, or we shall die there, where we belong at home. And right now, for I must thank you for your kindness and your unwavering encouragement, especially when I thought my rotten lungs would be the death of me. Thank you sincerely, and may God bless you. There. Now we won't freeze. I won't freeze. <laughs> Prove yourself. Okay, so now that we found our house... Wait. Let's go make ourselves useful. If well. the nightmare is at work here, they'll need us. <laughs> Oof, jeez. Okay, so first order of business. Let's go back up here and see if, um... That key we found was for that box. Hey! Okay, it was for this box. A compass? Oh, okay, okay. So now, as of right now, we're only missing the rifle for our gear. Which I'm gonna assume we probably get the rifle in this place, so, you know. I got her the child plate to one with the knife hand, apparently. Sometimes it tugs on its own. That sounds disturbing. And also, as a collector, amazing. <laughs> Okay, haunting case available. Essence, essence. Oh, it's like so. What you're saying is, I can get two essences in this place. Oh shit. I did. I did. <laughs> hmm. Okay. The forge. Kate said the blacksmith may need help. Okay, let's go see what the blacksmith needs. Hello, sir. What are you? Oh, you know how it doesn't hold that one of the lines he says is just loud laughing. That is terrifying. He. Our houses are falling down. We need them nails to build with. Deliver soonest, if you will. No shite like the last lot. You're supposed to be good at your work. These nails look brittle. Oh. Words from the past, Link. What is it? Salt water. It's pulsing. There's something here. Okay, well, give me a minute. That drill bit is dull as a hammer. Metalworking isn't easy, but this stuff is surprisingly shite. Can't be easy to maintain a camp with a bad blacksmith. Can't afford just no tools. Well, I mean, they ran away. What do you want? Mine, oh mine. Mine, oh mine. Oh. Mine, oh mine. That ghost sounds nasty. That ghost sounds obsessed. Okay, there's definitely something shiny inside that house. There's a guy standing there. Oh! There are stains here. I can show you them. Let's finish here first.
She is the blacksmith? Forgive me. I ought to start. Oh well. Ain't you a sight? Who are you, then? Red McCraith, ma'am, the banisher. To whom do I owe the pleasure? Oh, the Scotsman. I like your accent, and I like your manner, too. Nelly. Nelly Heaton. A friendly Londoner. I like her already. The okay, first thing I want to know is she sells. Let's trade, Mrs. Heaton. All right, let's. Before I accidentally maybe make her mad. Banisher T. 400. Wow. Marauder armor. Ooh. 800. <gasps> Neutral. Definitely the romance option. Definitely. Okay, well, it looks like I can't buy anything. Here's the thing. In your forge, I, I found a puddle of salt water. Any idea how it got there? Wait. You went into the forge without asking? The door was open. Also, there was a puddle on the floor, which turned out to be salty. Hmm. Well, it's rude, but this time I'll let you off. The forge uses a lot of water, but that doesn't explain the salt. It had the mark of a ghost. What think you of that? A ghost? My lord, am I in danger? Honestly, I don't know. I'm looking into it, I hope not. <clears throat> to the point, madam, Kate Newsmith worries for you, and for your husband, too. He around. Fortune left some hours ago, and hasn't come back. I confess, I'm beginning to worry. What if the beast got... Okay, we gotta go find him. Did he not say where he was going? Thick skin has him making nails for the stockade. She presses him, and he feels the weight of it. Could he have gone out in search of material? Doubtful. He's exhausted. He doesn't sleep. He works day and night. It wasn't always so. Coming to New Eden saved us. It saved the marriage. I should go look for your husband. He's no woodsman, so he can't have gone far. Please, do find him. I didn't come this far only to lose him now. Can I have a look around your house? Yes, if it helps. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Heaton. Welcome. I've enjoyed our chat. It's nice to have someone new to talk with. I just wish her items weren't so expensive. <laughs> man, that's pricey. I found a friend, a dear, dear friend, a good man who has sinned at times, but wishes no harm on anyone. He speaks to me with respect, and I like, and I to him likewise. He listens to me with interest, and I to him the same. Above all, he is kind. This, I think, is the greatest thing of things a man can be. We know our men by their wealth or by their conquest, where, when really we should know them by their kindness. I shall cherish this page as it marks and what I saw life on more favorable terms. Okay. In this, the year of our Lord, 1694, from the pen of the most honorable Fairfax Haskell, governor of the colonies of New Eden and roundabouts to Master Fortune Heaton. My dear, most fortunate Mr. Heaton. Further to our most recent and urgent correspondence, I refer to our, your last letter dated the 14th of December, in which you confirm your desire, desire to join the colony of New Eden, where 
four to practice the trade of blacksmithing. As you are known in London as in Boston as a blacksmith of some renown and indeed a Puritan of impeccable faith, I have the pleasure of confirming that a place awaits you here. We shall provide you with a small holding in which to establish your business, and while we shall endeavor to provide you with whatever materials you should require, pray bring whichever tools you may need as they can be scarce here at times. Please reply immediately, at least within a month, and book passage at your early, earliest convenience. I have enclosed a stipend for which to pay the fare with fields to plow and horses to show. Shoe? We are in urgent need of your service. We shall expect you before winter. A contract. Bits of eights aren't very big denominations, plus the slash could power up your character. Also, I haven't seen anything else spent on them so many. Well, that, that's the thing, right? Sure, the flowers and stuff will give me money, but it's like, I need those for the upgrades, so it's like, I'm kind of iffy about selling those things. I have a feeling about the bed. A ghost left a blurred fragment of its memory. Plus, I need the materials for um, summonings, right? But they did say after a certain amount of time, um, materials respawn. So I guess depending on what you want to do, you could go back to all, like, all previous locations and farm tons of materials. Sell, make money, go sleep, rinse, repeat, and just keep doing that. So that way you have tons of stuff. So that is one way. Through time and distance, I now see. It just obviously would just take a while. <laughs> no. He was gonna kill his wife because of the ghost. That's no ghost threatening Nanny. That's her husband. It seemed like he was fighting the urge to hurt her. So the blacksmith has gone missing with his Aww. tools. And a saltwater ghost haunts the forge. Let's go find it. I have a feeling about the bed, right? I mean, honestly, like, the bed doesn't look very comfortable. <laughs> You know, the only sad part about um, us going down the resurrection path is that this town is all like, we need a blacksmith to help us, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, you know, we're probably going to end up killing your blacksmith. <laughs> like, oh, shit. A moment. Okay, that's why she didn't do it earlier. Because we weren't at that part. Imagine all those years hunting ghosts, how much time we could have saved. Come on, let's go find our blacksmith. Thank God. <laughs> I'd have been like, whoa, come on now, game. On a slightly good note, this is the path that we found earlier that I was like, okay, I'm not gonna go here just yet. Okay, I wanna just check something here. Okay, and then that's the next one. Okay, okay. What think you of the blacksmith and his wife? 
Fortune Heaton's ghost haunts the forge. I'm sure of it. For Nellie's sake, I hope not. Are you sure Miss Nellie did not kill her husband? She looked kind of sus. Then again, I think we've played too many of these types of games. Everybody's sus. <laughs> So he went, okay, so footsteps are that way. I'm going to go this way. Definitely need this. Something's nearby. Where is it? and waiting. Okay, so footsteps go that way. Maybe she'll finally get the power. Oh no, never mind. I was like, hey. Okay, so we can't go here yet. Oh, God. One less to worry about. Come out. To safe. Uh, are they are they gone? You very much gone. <laughs> very much. Oh, thank you. Whoever you may be, for whatever you have done. I oh, thank you. I thought I was done for. Fortune Heaton, sir, and so very pleased that you came along. Red McCraith, the banisher. Weren't there two of you? There were, yes. As it happens, I've been looking for you. You have? Uh, what for? What are you doing here? What are you doing out here, anyway? Do you not fear the prowling beast? Oh, I needed a walk, a bit of fresh air, a bit of light. Forges. 
Well, it's dark and hot, isn't it? I didn't mean to be a worry. We all enjoy walking the woods while burdened down with smithing tools. Why'd you bring your tools? Yeah, why did I bring my tools? Why? Uh, why? Because... Because they're haunted. That's why. I'm sorry, it's just... I'm losing my tiny little mind. And it's them godforsaken tools that's to blame. Oh, okay. I start working with them. And then I look up, and half the day's gone, and I am somewhere else entirely. And that's not even the worst of it. When I return to the forge, the work is done. The tools are haunted, and I'm getting rid of them. As deep in the woods as I can go. Did the haunted tools tell you to kill your wife? No. Yes. Maybe, no. I... I would never hurt her. Yes, they told me to hurt her. Maybe. Maybe I'd have hurt her. Can you help us? Yes. But I can't guarantee you'll like the result. I heard you praying. I thought I recognized the text. You did? You sure? Nelly painted him a pious Puritan. Aye. Thought he sounded Catholic. Oh, well, just coincidence? Mm -hmm. Look, here's the truth. I'm a convert. I did it for Nelly. I am. Was Catholic. Oh. It was a convenience more than a calling. Keep it to yourself, please. I need to fit in around here. Not my business. I won't tell us all. <sighs> Thank you. That's twice I owe you. Head for camp. I'll take a look at the tools. Once they're safe, I'll follow. Yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. Thank you, Banisher. I'll... <sighs> Thank you. It's like, uh-huh, uh-huh. Me. Okay, now what was I trying to? Oh yeah, okay. Okay, so he's going back to camp. I'm looting this area. I sense the fragment of a ghost's voice. So you're gonna blame and kill him, right? Yeah. Because if we don't see it through the whole way with the with the blaming them, then there's no point in doing it to the first guy. Because you need to you need to blame everybody for the resurrection spell to work at the end of the game. So even if the person doesn't deserve to be blamed, we have no choice for this playthrough. Let's see where the back door leads. Mine! Mine! Mine, oh mine! The ghost lays claim to the forge and everything in it. The flatter from the echo is missing from the toolbox. If it's not around here somewhere, he lied, lied to us. Okay, so where are we? Okay, point of interest is here. We can't go here yet. Spectral stains oh, heading deeper into the woods. Odds are there's a blacksmith's flatter at the end of the trail.
until you go back at least. Exactly, exactly. For now, he's safe. While we're exploring, he's okay for now. Okay, this is definitely a very weird place. A lot of dead bodies. No, because I figure before we finish off the quest, we'll, we'll go shopping from her one more time, just in case. <laughs> See that corpse? I could use a ritual. Just in case. Show your shame in flesh! Try another one. Kind of get to this one. Troubles about. Where the corpse is this hearty? I'm still here. Let's get back up. Gonna make this easy for me then. I feel like a bloody target practice. Beat it. Woo! Have some of this. Ready and waiting. Hell yeah. Oh, that's true, that's true, eh? If she's alive when we get back. Good point. Because the issue is we couldn't buy anything from her. I mean, outside of, like, flowers and stuff. Like, the armor and stuff that she was selling was way too expensive. No, no, no. She had some of the blue flowers I needed. something spectral nearby but not not the red ones
I'm pretty sure those red flowers are something that we're gonna get later. Ask for help if you need it. Like, I, right, I'll ask for help if I need it. Fortune the blacksmith came deep into the dangerous woods. He's no blacksmith, he's lying. We sent him home, I hope he's no danger for Nelly. Yes. Yeah, you may be right. We're gonna get back and like Nelly's gonna be dead or something. Hello. Okay, we got some wolves over there. Called it. It's like, no! I mean, outside of selling the flowers and stuff, we wouldn't have been able to buy the items from her anyway. So there wasn't much options at that point. This would do nicely if I wanted to put my legs up. Could this be a treasure map? Looks like one. Maps don't necessarily lead to treasure. Aye, but what if this one does? Very well. Let's look for this treasure that obviously awaits us. Yeah, let's look for the treasure. I like shiny objects. And now at least we have our other fast travel teleport unlocked. Okay, so... Make that a little bit better. Wait, bridge can be up. Wow, the bridge can be upgraded again. Ah, oh, our the elite gem. Okay, wait a minute here. Wait a minute. <clears throat> okay, wait. So then wristband. Ah, wristband. Ooh. So wait, armors don't require the elite gems? Oh, these ones require the scor the sc scourge. And weapon is the same? A oh, weapon needs soul shards. Oh, wool. I bought four from that that one merchant earlier just so I didn't spend too too much money. Fog iron. Oh, we got one nest uh, silt. That's cool. Oh, okay. So here, pirate elite gems and scourge. Ah, oh. see the issue with selling the items, right? You want to make money, but you're like, um, I'm gonna need a ton of these items. Now, do, do the elite nests respawn?
Oh wait, no, why, wait, 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 while I'm here, one second. Oh, okay, the Bane Ring needs Scourge, Scourge and Green Hellivore. Okay, okay, okay. Nope, oh, wrong button. Okay. It's like we're not fast traveling because we're still in this area. That's gonna take me there. Get out of there. There's definitely something angry here. It's like this spectral nest is just waiting for my intervention. So another nest. One cannot say no to this. Unveil yourself. They never learn, do they? Watch out! Spectre possession! Did we miss a few? Reinforcements! The mongrel. Make it yield. Oh, hell yeah. Now it would be kind of nice if they dropped more items, but you know, let's not be too too greedy. Hello. Just a tad. Oh, okay, okay. That's just another way to get into the cave. Infested weed. Poor weed. Ah, okay, this is cool. Okay, so once we get this done, then we can actually go here. So this is later. I do kind of like the blocks that they have. Because it pretty much lets you know, like, hey, okay. You're progressing a little bit too far in exploring, you know, without getting your, you know, shit done. Okay, and then this will be after when we get the gun. Yeah, I can see. This is the closest that I've been to any of these things and I can't punch it. I can't do anything with it. Not yet. That's cool, though. So this seems to be like a 
like a really, really good spot to get the the lilac thingamabobbers. That's what I'm gonna call it, the lilac thingamabobs. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so outside of whatever's here, we cannot progress past this point. So this makes this little bit of an area a little bit easier. Right, that's this path here, right? Okay, sorry. Right, the bridge. Okay, so then there's one last thing I need to check then. Quickly. It was through here, right? Wait. Yeah, let me just go here quickly. Technical, technical term for what? Right, okay, okay, no. Okay, we're good. Okay, let's head back. Technically now at this point we've pretty much... Explored this whole area. Sort of. This lilac thing about- oh! <laughs> If I can't remember the names of the things, I just call them the thingamabobs. Okay, wait. Uh... Okay, so this is the treasure map. Okay, so this is the camp. Near the water. I've actually seen worse treasure maps in games. This is not bad. Okay. Did I not have two... Mysterious cat. Trinket's odds and ends may be hard to meet, yet through the dark and somber trees you may find what you seek. Follow the winds, don't lose your way. Let this end keep you at bay. You know the worst thing is about this one? I have no idea where I'd pick this up. This is why exploring is dangerous at times. You find things and then you're like, the hell is this? Oh, no, wait, oh, wait. I think this is the thing that I bought from the store. Back, back, back. Wait, what town did I buy this in? How many towns have we visited? <laughs> no, I think we bought this in New Eden. Back before, you know, we, we got murdered by that ghost. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Sorry. I thought this was the crack, 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 crack. Luckily this won't take long. I'm not too far away. Something's concealed. Oh right, the dogs. 
bloody mongrel. Stay put. I stay put, doggies. Out here, okay. I needed that. Said that doesn't sound good. See something. Okay, there's a jump. I touch that. I just need to see where this takes me. Okay, this looks like it's circling me. The hammer is the ghost tie. Now to retrieve it without breaking my neck. Yes, that would be a shame. We need to look for somewhere to cross. that goes down there so there's nothing here there's a treasure box so can't you okay okay I sense a trap I sense an echo all right then let's check out the trap not supposed to come here because that rock is like blocking the path but then it's like okay well they just talked about the hammer so technically this seems to be where I'm supposed to go Oh, 
hoping. Right. Back to business. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, it literally was a trap. Snake. More fun. Okay, well they weren't lying when Don't they said that trap. Spectre get to the corpse. Back down to hell. I knew it. So there's definitely gotta be a way to go back. for the other one. This game, I see where the hammer is. I see. Oh, okay, okay. I can cross back up this way. Okay, cool. That's enough, Nelly. I warned you. Uh. I warned you this would happen again. No. Oh, look at yourself. You're pathetic. I want a divorce. <laughs> You're now Elizabeth Luxford. You are mine. And I'd sooner see you dead and cold than let you leave. What's going on here? Walk away, lad. This does not concern you. I think it does. Oh my god. What do you want to do? Dows with the essence of its ghost. Once a closure has severed the ghost's bond to the world, this essence will be automatically consumed by a tear to make her stronger. A lot of birds killed a man with his own hammer. Well, we should talk to his ghost. Do I want to talk to this ghost? Ah, okay, okay. So it's definitely magical. So I need to get stronger for that too, okay. Well, let's summon the ghost and talk to it. Show yourself and join me now. Yeah, you greedy, greedy ghost. <laughs> His rings, right? We are the Banishers Antea Duarte and Red McWraith. Whose ghost are you? <laughs> Do we really have to listen to this bastard? Nothing good ever comes of talking to the dead. 
At times, I'm tempted to agree. Who are you, and what do you want with the blacksmith? Mm. My forge. My wife. My name. All mine. The bastard stole them. So you're telling us our blacksmith's a fraud? Why are you here? I want what's mine. Stolen away. Pride from my grasp. I want my work. My name. My wife. Your wife is not your property. <laughs> she was no one. A drudge who fancied herself a herbalist. So this is fortune. <laughs> I plucked her from the dirt. I made her. All right, no. I'll not entertain this man a moment longer. You've been sowing madness in the mind of the man who replaced you. She can't escape me. Are you looking for revenge? I claim what's mine. She schemed it. He seized it. And I shall. He totally wants back. revenge. That night, on deck, Nelly asked for a divorce. What happened then? We saw what happened. I want to hear him say it. What happened on the boat? Ungrateful. Scheming. Aaron. Oh. Watch it. Red, come on. Distempered. Feeble. A mm. weak woman. Demanding care and giving none. I gave her a life and she stole mine. She had him kill me. Right? That's not what I saw. I've had enough of this. Let's go. Now we know why Fortune Heaton died. He's a bastard. But murder is murder. Nelly and her fellow are haunted yet. And I'm concerned for their safety. So the real husband's dead. The other guy and the wife are cheating together and they murdered the husband. So does nobody in the village notice that their original blacksmith is not their original blacksmith? All, all that they've noticed is that suddenly their blacksmith sucks. It's like, it's not like the guy's twins. They don't look the same. It's like, how do you not notice something? It's kind of funny. Got a new ring. Okay, so that puts us like right, right near the camp that we have. Okay. And then something's nearby. Where is it? We're right here. Thank you. Definitely. Was it a ring I picked up? Oh, it was a ring. Damage dealt by red is increased up to 40% the lower the spear guide. Ooh. Okay, well, we'll have to deal with that after. Uh, okay, back to my map quickly here. Oh, hello. 
Okay. Going to head back. And yeah, we've been there. I don't need to go there. Um, right, just head back to camp. There is a shelter nearby, but Richie, you may travel towards another shelter to get to your destination faster. Yeah, game, I, I know that. Thank you. But my issue, um, shelter? Oh, right! We do have the shelter directly in the camp now. Ah, uh, but the path, the path. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, forget it. I'm using fast travel. Okay, so first order of business. Inventory. Uh, ring. Okay. So two hundred five five two ten four. Oh, so this is more a defense ring. This is a damage ring. So strength and dex would go up. Banish points gain six. Ooh. But then I lose the other stuff. Hmm. 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 Okay, I'm gonna keep it with me. I'm not gonna change rings though. For now. Oh, crap, wrong button. Sorry, sorry. We gotta go back. Oh, God. Uh, here. Yes, thank you. Okay. Now, assuming she's not dead, I think Fortune's ghost is here. Let's end this now. Wait, give me a minute. I got to talk to her because I don't know what's going to happen. You should have said something. I was afraid to offer <gasps> you. No secrets, we said. We did. Because this only works if we're together. Right. Together. Do you think the banisher knows? No. Though I'd not swear on it. He's no fool. I am no Puritan. He must know that at least. You think the Banisher knows that we're cheating? I don't know. The Banisher's looking at you through the window. I'm pretty sure we know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we know everything now. You cheating bastards. Clearly, people are not really good at, you know, stealth and shit. Hush. Someone's coming. It's his eye. You're back. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Ma'am, I would like to talk to you. Oh, wait. Hey. Okay, it looks like I'm not gonna be able to talk to her and buy something. Aw. Hopefully, maybe, maybe if they both die, a new merchant will just, like, magically, like, pop up with fancy a drink. I guess we'll talk to her. Fine. Point, point, point. 
Mr. McRae, my man came back and I hear I've you to thank for it. Mm -hmm. Don't celebrate just yet. I know the truth. Your secret is out. I don't know who you are, sir, but you're not Fortune Eaton. Don't be daft. Haskell hired the Puritan master blacksmith, Fortune Eaton. You're none of those things. You're not him. What do you want? I'd like your side of the story, madam. Very well. What? No. How do we know we can trust him? We don't. But we must take the chance. It's time. On the crossing from England, something happened. What was it? I'd had peace and quiet for weeks since we'd been aboard. Fortune was too sick to do anything. I even made a friend. I thought to myself, maybe. Maybe this new beginning will be good for us. Maybe you'll change. Before we left, I'd sworn he'd never lift a hand to me again. Well, guess what? We didn't plan on killing him. I swear on it. Do you regret it? Do you regret any of it? What would be the point? And if I did, what would be the point of telling you about it? I'd have escaped him in the end. But I'd have had to die to do it. I only killed him so he wouldn't kill me. The blame is on him, sir, not me. You're not Fortune Eaton. So, who are you? I am. <laughs> to hell with it. You're right, I'm no blacksmith. I, sir, am the fugitive thief Arthur Carty. <gasps> but a good man. A repentant, hard-working man. If I am those things, it's because you've shown me it's all right. I'm doing my best to make a better life. Really, I am. What were you running from? Just the legal consequences of my illegal life. You sent me to find your husband, Mrs. Heaton. Find him, I did. Your husband's corpse rots on the ocean floor. And his ghost has followed you here. I ripped myself of him once. What shall it take to do it a second time? Oh shit! Okay, wait, this is- Okay, wait a minute. So we gotta blame, can you blame both or just blame one? Because for the ascension, um, for not the ascension, sorry, the resurrection, we have to blame as many people as possible. Oh, this is hard. I feel like each case is gonna get harder and harder to make your choice, but if we want resurrection, we have no choice but to do it. Wow. They definitely don't make it easy. Cause I mean, I completely understand why she did what she did. Cause if she didn't do it, she would have died because of the abuse. And this guy, it's just like, he just followed her. I think one. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blame him first. And if and if the quest ends and then that's it, then at least we'll still have our merchant so we can buy things. And it and then if we have to blame both, we'll blame both. Okay, wait. Okay. You will sacrifice the settler with a blame ritual. This decision will contribute to Antea's resurrection since the resurrection ritual will only work if the largest number of settlers are sacrificed. So, the largest number. So, okay. Okay, so we're gonna start with, we're gonna blame him. I'm sorry, dude. I have no choice. Arthur Carty. The man with someone else's work. Someone's name, and someone else's wife. 
You escaped England as a thief. And a thief you remained. Arthur is a good man. He has redeemed himself. He has been a good friend and a good help for us all. And yet, your dead husband returned to haunt you. Arthur brought fortune's wickedness back to you. Arthur is to blame. I only wanted Nelly to be happy. We killed Fortune Heaton once. Now we'll do it again. did was steal a name, and now you steal my soul. Monster! Devil! Murderer! Leave me be! Leave me! Out, monster! Out! Nine oh three eight fifty five confront Nelly. Okay. Okay. You should have said something. Hush. Someone's coming. Vanisha, you're back. Okay, so it looks like we can only sacrifice one. Mr. McCrae. My man came back, and I hear I've you to thank for it. Don't celebrate just yet. I know the truth. Your secret is out. I don't know who you are, so... Okay, we're gonna skip Act this. Our school hired the... What are you... I'd like... Very well. What? We don't... I'd have... I thought... we already know what they say. What? Well, out of escape. I am... Then I'll... Please tell me you just want a wee chin wag and then you'll be on your way. Please. You sent me to fight your husband. I ripped my... Okay. I want to just see which option I like better. Since we can only blame Nelly one. Nelly Heaton, you murdered your husband to find freedom, but instead unleashed his vengeful ghost upon you and the man who stole his name. Where is the justice in this? I'm not here to bring justice. I'm here to end a haunting. What claim have you on me? You're no better than Fortune Heaton. A pox on you. A pox on men and their cowardice. Yes. A pox on us all. Beneath the tyranny of bad men, I lived. By it, I now die. No, 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 no! My friend! My dear friend! Away with you! Get out of my sight! Murderer! Out! It's tough. 
It's 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 a tough choice. Right, no, no, like, no matter what, the options are going to be hard, right? But it's like, going back and killing him instead of her doesn't necessarily mean that the merchant shop will come back and she'll sell things to me. Because obviously she's going to hate me after this. So I think either way I lose this store. Regardless. So it's kind of like, like, which is the, so like the way I'm seeing it, logically, right? I feel bad because of the abuse that she suffered and she just wanted to get away from a complete a-hole. But she killed him. The other guy didn't kill. If, if we have to justify something, right? He just followed her. There, there, there there's my justification in both bad options. Because, you know... <laughs> Why can we only kill one? Make my life easier and just let us take out both. God. Well... This is the option I'm going with. We'll, we'll, we'll keep her dead. Okay. Eh? Oh, wait. Eh? Oh, never mind, never mind, sorry. So we can go talk to her first and then go do this one. So, oh, sorry, haunting cases. Yeah, so the Banishers lay the blame for the haunting on Nellie, who killed her husband. Huh? Oh. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six cases. So? I've done my rounds, as you ask. And? The blacksmith and his wife were haunted by an angry ghost. It won't be coming back. I suppose I shall believe you. Anything else to report? Other hauntings are likely. I've no particulars as yet. All right. So, I'll thank you kindly, Mr. McRae. You've done your part and earned your place. My sister should soon return. She'll surely want to meet you. Until then, you may stay. I'll take my leave. I do. They're good, they're both sleeping. Okay, so let's go grab the other haunting case. This house here, look how stained it is. I wonder who's home. Who oh, there inside? Anyone home? It's empty. Who goes into the wilderness to write letters? My dear Pilipa, my apologies for taking so long to write and for the delay in delivery that must surely come, as ever patience is key. I pray you are well and your efforts will let the shop meet with great success. My letter surely comes too late to be of use, but you must know the affairs in New Eden, grave as they were, have worsened. The people have fled the town and dispersed into the wilderness. 
I try my best to leave, but our group of refugees is blocked by the bad luck and worse weather. They are a hardy bunch, if a little dull, but they are discreet and do not question me unduly. I will come home to the father country and recount my tale in person if I ever escape this place. I have no news of our friend Alex. Sadly, when I last saw him, he was alive and well. Now I do not know. I suppose that wherever Alex is, he still does not like us and we still do not like him. As for me, I like my neighbors well enough for what they are. As you know, they are not sympathetic people. No matter, forget New Eden, my dear Philippa, abandon it. Advance our ambitions elsewhere. Please accord me with the honor of accepting, dear sister, my most earnest love. Okay. Our prudent sake lives here. She writes well. And she also seems to be out of her mind. Nobody home, but the stew is bubbling. Of hunting for flavor for the stew, I hope. Okay, the town. Three oaks, it says. Could be where she's gone. Those are acorns on a table. Seems likely. No, I didn't. I didn't at all. The only thing that I'm figuring is that I don't have the right skill to be able to get through that spot. Since technically we weren't supposed to be exploring in that area anyway, just yet. Something's pulsing here. Let me try something. Try some up. Oh. This is unexpected. Is this house haunted by calculus? Someone scrubbed the walls. Mrs. Hake must have seen the numbers. Aye. Ah, didn't much like them. As a cook, this Prudence Hake makes an excellent letter writer. She's resourceful. That's interesting. Let's go find these oak trees. And this haunted, well lettered cook. Well, maybe. Maybe this will actually allow us to get through those bushes. Because these are definitely the numbers that are outside the bushes of that one spot. treasure map okay oh yeah wait wait so back to here that's other yeah, yeah so so if i am right there there's the spot where we couldn't get through So I'm, be I'm being a potato here. Can I go this way? Wait, where am I? Wait, no, seriously, where am I? Oh, yeah, I definitely don't want to go this way. This is not right. Ooh, 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 ooh. My materials respawned. <clears throat> Wrong place. Ooh. Okay, let's see. Did you guys get any new items since you guys no longer I'm glad to help? But after years of trade, though my mind is keen, my body betrays me. Yes, I've bought and sold it all. Furs and jewels, tobacco, wine, fish and fowl, sugar and spice, the corn, and with it the Eucopia. I don't suppose you've any nails, but these ones are shite. I do not, Daniel. I do not. But I assure you that I have taken note of your demand. When New Eden opens to the world once more, then I shall move to meet your need. You shall have the finest Boston nails. The blacksmith may moan, or he may make better nails himself. This is the way of the world. A bright future awaits us, Daniel. 
I look forward to it, Mr. Paris. But if I can't get good nails now, there ain't no future at all. <laughs> I wonder where the guy hides when you're using the ghost. Do you think he's creeping in a court? Imagine that! He's like lurking around like a wall like, Are you done? Are you done? Can I come out now? <laughs> oh, shit. Sir, I need to talk to you. Good day to you, Squire Paris. <laughs> uh, thank you. Show me your wares. Did you get anything new? I'll find what you need, I'm sure. Well, okay. He's got some stuff that I need, but man, the other the other girl had so many items. It's kind of a little bit sad that she's not here anymore. Oh yeah, wait, wait, wait. Show me your wares. You'll find. I want to see something. Okay. So to prefer. <gasps> it's not a lot of money when you think about it. I mean, unless you actually like legit like backtrack and refarm everything. I'll bid you a good day. Okay, so move out of the way. Now I gotta find my way back to this place. Somehow. Uh. Uh. The map points us west. Right. Isn't that not where I'm going? Yeah, see, that's it. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, will you wait a minute? Okay, actually, before I leave town, a treasure map. Oh, -ho. so it'd be nice at that moment if the if the game was like treasure map cleared, da -da 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 -da. you know, insert some like fancy music to saying that congratulations, you got it. Okay, the three oaks. This way. I'm no, I know. Nah. Oh, here. Stay put. Do you hear a French woman? Aye, and she's taking no shine. Well, she is French. <laughs> Prise pour qui? Je ne me laisserai 
the yelling person just give me a minute Come no closer. Easy, madam. I mean, you know. Come no closer. Who are you? Oi. Why do you follow me? Red McCraith, at your service. The banisher who lived. <laughs> For what little good it brought. Are you Prudence Hake? What do you want? She's skittish. Why? Who were you talking to just now? What do you mean? Just now. Your voice was raised. You were speaking French. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Don't pretend. I know French when I hear it. I've no idea what you mean. I'm from Kent, by way of Wales. You won't get her to say it, but Prudence Hake is secretly French. <laughs> She's secretly French. I'll be plain, Mrs. Hake. I believe you need my help. I did not say I was Prudence Hake. She's stubborn. I like that. I've seen the writing on your walls. You're haunted, are you not? I've had strange visitors, it's true. You, for example. Stay out of my house. I'm going home now. I mean it. Stay out. She denies what's happening to her. We'll need proof. More numbers. They look new. Okay. Oh, I'm stuck. Yeah, so if we're following the numbers... Mrs. Hake seems suspicious to me. She was as suspicious of you as you are of her. I don't trust her. What else is she hiding? Her troubles, perhaps? Or her guilt? Okay, it looks like the bush is gone now, so maybe my game was bugging out yesterday. doesn't like us snooping or mainly we couldn't enter because this is tied to the quest then it makes sense I really 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 hope I don't have to figure this out This is a cipher. Has Prudence Hake been sending encrypted messages? She reports the destruction of food rations arriving by sea in New Eden. That explains the burnt docks when we arrived. Oh. What now? More stains. Keep digging. Oh shit, really? So, Prudence is a French spy, and a saboteur, too. But why would the ghost use her cipher? Maybe the ghost is a spy, too. Maybe she... One spy versus other spy, and she killed him. These are not threats. They're not threats? Interesting.
putting up a fight then. Divert your focus. The veil shields this one. Yeah. That's my robot. More messages. A ghost left a fragment of their past here. <laughs> What's this? Thomas? Oh. You know I'll always love you, right? The closer you get, the more aggressive it becomes. So you just want to protect her, or like... Thomas found her Huguenot seal. I don't think he knew she was a French Protestant. Maybe he's protecting her. The French aren't welcome on English land. This is not English land. Tell that to the English, or to our ghost when we find him. Think you could take on a ghost? In this box we already found. Okay, yeah, we can't go there. <clears throat> Dude was totally trying to kill me. Wait, we wish only to talk. Take your whispers and be gone. Did we miss a few? Feel something close. Yeah, flower. Mm, this? Look at you, unloved and godless, silent, worthless, blood guilty, fool, forever, never ending mercy by my loving kindness. No, I cannot. I will not. Brothers, forgive me. The silence is for. Thomas? Thomas! My God, no! What have you done? Stay! Please! Stay. 
day. Your love is ever enough, PH. This ties down to the essence of the ghost. He took his own life. His were no ordinary nightmares. He died a gruesome death. No wonder he's still here. He is here. Red McCraith, sir. Yes. I'm trying to help your wife, Prudence. Whisper not to me, you devil. Must we do this every single time? You take the lead, then. All right, let's banish it. Be gone, devil. You'll not have her. Prudence is not who you thought she is, and yet you kept her secret. I know her. I love her. Even after she betrayed the colony, even knowing she lied to you. Perfect love cast death out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. I promised to love her. A promise should be kept. Aww. You're killing her, Thomas. No. No, you're wrong. You're leeching the essence from her. She'll go insane, then she'll die. She needs me. She needs me. She needs me. He's lost his mind. And he's taken hers with it. He believes he keeps her safe. So we banish him. Then she'll be safe. Whatever we do, Prudence has the right to know what's happening. We should tell her. Stay here. Maybe we can help. What are you doing here? Oi! Who exactly were you talking to? Who? Me? Who, me? Just now, you were talking to someone. Who was it? This is ridiculous. I'm alone here. Don't play with me, Banisher. Now tell me the truth. I can tell you the truth, but can you accept it? You rarely sleep. You wake exhausted. You feel drained, but blame it on the grief of your loss and the fear of your exposure. What do you know of me and my life? I know you're a spy. And I know your husband loved you very much. He found your cipher. His ghost writes upon your walls. There is no ghost here. What are you up to? I'm doing my job. Nothing more. Your husband haunts you. I'm here to help you both. He thought I was a threat to you. He tried to chase me away. He loves you very much. Which is why he won't leave you alone. Is he here? Is, is Thomas here? He is. He wants you away from New Eden. Away from danger. I have work here. Important work. Your king doesn't give two shites for New Eden. The war is elsewhere and will go on with or without you. Prudence, Thomas, it's time. Goodbye, Prudence. Good boy. Thomas wishes you to live true. Far from New Eden, far from the English. After he died, he stuck around, trying to get you to change your ways. But you did not listen. I did what I had to do. They may call it treason. I call it loyalty. Then I hope you understand what I must now do. Treason is treason!
nous jouons tous un rôle, mais le tien, Vanessa, est de loin le plus perfect. As long as I draw breath, I'll do all I can to protect you. I know. Okay, let me just take a look here. <clears throat> hmm. Okay, so it doesn't look like we acquired anything new. For now. So for now I'm just gonna keep my skill points. Now what do we got? Oh! Can let me see something? Oh, because of the scourge accretion. Hmm. Wanderer gear. This is hard because what if I find something better? Scouter crushings are a little bit hard to get. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Can be obtained by defeating scourges or bought from witches. But well, we haven't really technically met the witches just yet. Okay, yeah, you know, I'm not, I'm not even gonna upgrade. I'm just gonna keep what I have. Okay, so let's fast travel. We'll go back to town. Yeah. Um, we're not gonna rest yet, but according to the quest, we have to wait for thick skin to come back. Solved. You know what's a little bit weird though? How come they don't say solved? But this one says solved. Hello. It's a little weird. Anyway, let's save the game really quickly. Uh, I'll just make a new save file. Okay. I guess at this point, we can rest. Oh well, yeah, might as well. <laughs> Don't start.
Kate came by. Thick skin is back and wants to see you. Hoy, okay. Why did she not wake me? Perhaps she resented playing the messenger. Perhaps she just wanted to make you late. <laughs> she was vexed. Thick skin return has upset her. Kate reminds me of my sister. Aoife. No, Clan McCraith's little spitfire. Always at my heels. Or giving father's guards all kinds of hell. <laughs> She was a wee thing, but strong. Oh, big men in armor didn't they scare her. She had more brains than I, and more wild too. <laughs> in sparring, she'd beat me, Andy. <laughs> she would have made a fine swordswoman, had she grown. Someday I'd like to meet my brother and sister. I'm sorry? You're what? Twins. By my mother's letters, they must be eight years old. You never told me this. You never asked. <laughs> Loki. What are their names? Ugh. What? I'm interested, that's all. You're bothersome. Ayomi Day is my sister. Temi is my brother. I had no idea. You got letters from home. My mother writes once a year. The letters take months to find me. If they find me at all. Until now, I've given it little thought. <laughs> Three Duarte children walk the world. God help us. Good boy. Now that you can count to three, we can move on to four. I hope the twins have more charm than you do. <laughs> My friends must hear me. I have spoken, right? The beast has woken up. <laughs> Will you stop? Oh! Did I mention thick skin was waiting for yes, you? Yes, you did. All right, all right. I'm going. The beast. Oh, shit. I can give no orders, but you return from the hunt and countermand it. Lo. The halfpenny redeemer come to save us. Thou may enter, O oh great savior. It's like, okay, why are you being mad at me? Clearly, right? Oh, a gun. Excuse my sister. Underestimating her would be a mistake. She's tougher than you. <laughs> You're alive. Long story short, you had an angry ghost in your meeting house. It was fierce. I fell in the sea. And Taya died. Your lost pains is 
but a good hunter should know when they've become the hunted. You didn't ask me here to watch you drink soup. What do you want? Kate says you have metal. I can use that. There's a service I need from you. You've something important needs doing and you want me to do it? No wonder your sister's fuming. Kate may wish her skin were thick as mine, but wishing will not make it true. Kate seems pretty tough to me. Her feelings fail her. She's much to learn. Speak frankly. What would you have me do? Banish a ghost that doesn't exist. Folk here believe in monsters. The fear makes them weak. Kill the beast. Kill their fear and give them back their strength. Fear can be good. We can't spare much, but you shall have a gun and powder and shot with it. Oh. You know the curse is real. Why not the beast too? The beast is nothing much. A bear, perhaps a wolf. A monster only in the mind. Why not kill it yourself? Because when the Banisher kills the beast, everyone here will believe the monster dead. Good point. Tis honest work. I presume you'll pay for it. I have the means to pay you. My word on it. Hmm. We'll see how that goes. I'll hunt your beasts. <clears throat> Whatever it is. If you answer one last wee question. You may ask it. What's with the name? No one rightly calls their daughter Thick Skin. My birth name be best forgotten. Thick Skin better suits the world. Fair enough. In the wild, we carry muskets. And we carry these. Whistle for help if the need be great. And a gun? My sister can spare her musket. If you can get it from her. Great, now you want me to go take the gun from your sister? Mm-hmm. Kate will be delighted. Kate will be hurt. I predict fireworks. You think Kate's feelings get in her way? Watch her reaction when you ask for the musket, then tell me I'm wrong. She's got a point. <laughs> oh, she ain't gonna be happy about this. Is that her? She gonna be fuming? Ooh, boy, oh boy. Don't you have business elsewhere? <clears throat> Go. Save us all from the beast. Go do my sister's char work. I need a musket. Thickskin said I should have yours. You'll rot in hell first, and so will she. This should be good. Killing the beast helps everyone. Your sister only means to protect you. She traps me. I cannot leave camp unarmed, and she knows it. She wants me to give up my freedom and hand it to you. Not a chance. There's pain behind the anger. I doubt you'll blunt her temper. Your sister protects you. Be glad. She does not protect me. She constricts me. <sighs> Thick skin measures worth by metal. The strong will live and the weak will die. Mm. She chose you to hunt the beast with my musket. She doesn't have to say a word about what she thinks of me. I'll bring you back your gun. I swear on it. You won't make it to New Eden Town without a gun. And we both know it. I'm sorry. I wish there were another way. You don't look sorry. Take the gun, Banisher. Take it and get lost. Well. Thank you. The flint's a little tired, but she strikes fine. Unlike some. 
She won't go off half cocked. I'll take good care of her. And she of me, no doubt. Yeah! Have you none of my sister's chores to do? Troop off, Scotchman. still there. He's back to working. Good day to you. Yeah, right. Oh ho! You have anything useful to sell, by the way? Decide for yourself. Oh, oh, the, oh, so, okay, so now here's the only issue now, right? Ill-favored. He don't like me. You have lost the merchant's trust and respect. From now on, they shall buy and sell to you at an unfavorable price. Makes sense. Oh, the armor's now a thousand. Oof! Oh, that's a- oh, that's the healing potion, eh? Hitting an enemy with a charged heavy attack restores 5% health points. Oh, wait. I'll take. I, I don't blame him for, you know, not liking me. Y you know, I get it. I do. Okay, so this one was already a level 2. Okay. Translucent fibers. Okay, so this healing potion here is a defense. Ooh. Hmm. 17. Good day to you. Yeah. Sorry, sir. I'm thinking. Physical resistance naturally is a 30. Oof. The Harrow's regions are bought from merchants. The Harrow's regions do 40 silver per thing, though. Woo! And then I lose money if I sell anything to him at this point. Well, hmm, hmm. So I'd one gold a pop. This would give me three hundred, three hundred gold. Oh, eight per pop. Oh! This sucks. <laughs> I'll take my leave. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Now quickly, before I head there, I need to do something here. Now that I finally have a gun, I want to try something. So I need to fast travel to one of the places where I remember where my thing is. Oh yeah, also, where is this quest? Where are we going? We're hunting the beast. So is the beast... Oh, the beast is down in here! Oh. Oh. Okay, so the one spot that I did not even think of that we didn't go yet. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go... Uh... Waterfall? Cave? Uh, I was like, talk to Seeker? Oh! Oh! There's the witch, the 
witch's location. I literally forgot all about this. Ah, so maybe this will lead us this way. So the witch is on the way to Boston, I think. Oh, sorry, travel. Hmm. Cool. Okay. Now, now what I want to test would be over here. Because this is the one, um, the one weird orby thing that I kind of remember the location. So how do I use the gun? Oh. If wisps did they come back to bite, I'd almost feel sorry for these ones being caged. Soul shark! What spirit snares do now here? I believe we should come to terms with the fact that New Eden brims with demonologist craft. Ooh. I really wish our map would actually just highlight where those things are. Just like you think I remember where the other ones are? Nope. <laughs> It's horrible. I, I don't remember. Huh? Oh, there's another quest available here, though. Or, or but... Okay, cool. Okay, wait a minute here. Thinking. Thinking. Jacob's... Jacob's shelter. Red sick bed. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. That one I know where it is. That one I can go get right now, really quickly. So I minor detour just because I need I need these soul shards. And luckily it doesn't take that long. Okay, we're gonna go all the way down here because this one I know exactly where it is. <clears throat> Seiko's camp. This is where I woke up after the meeting house. Felt so lost. So confused. How do you feel now? Same, really. More confused. Just kidding! Uh, where are you located? Woo! It should be on the other side of this wall. Don't think I don't think there was another one of those soul shard things inside the cave here. I think the other one was here. But I still don't have this manifestation power yet. So I'm assuming the game probably would not expect you to backtrack and grab the other things. Just yet. Okay. Yeah, because this is definitely blocking this area here. Because I think... I think 
it's located around this area. Near the bridge, if I remember right. But I think the bridge also has that other thing that I can shoot. Cause see, the other good thing, like they say about like the backtracking, right? Is all the resources respawn. So in terms of like upgrading your gears and stuff, you kind of need to do this. Oh, hello. Get lost, won't you? Oi. I'm so happy that we have fast travel. <laughs> okay, now. <clears throat> now, what did you say is available here? Unless this is the same activity. This is something else. Strange. Spectral stains still envelop the house. Let's investigate. Ooh. Yes, sir. So, Daniel. What's new? I take it you have questions. Ask them. Oh, no, I have no questions. But Shame. There are still writings on the wall. New ones from Thomas Haig. Or what's left of him. You took her. Oh, he's angry. Oh shit, he's mad. I have another insight. Don't just stand there. Move. Poor Thomas. I should have known his specter would linger. But well, he's gone now. Doing good, how are you? 
Nous jouons tous un rôle, mais le tien, Vanisseur, est de loin le plus perfect. Dodge better The tyranny of men, I live and die. You know what's a little, a little bit funny, right? One, two, three, four, five graves, right? The graves are already pre dug out. And technically, we we killed Nelly, and we killed Prudence. So now, who are these other three graves for? And who are we killing next? <laughs> like, um, okay, wait a minute here. Unless they just already have the graves already built out and ready to go for, you know, anybody that dies. Okay, wait a minute here. Where is it? I just seen the shiny thing too. Where are you? Is it here? 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 Eh? Did I not see it whenever I was running? Am I blind? Was it not up here? Oh, here it is. I was like, I can hear the voices. Okay. Right, and quest has been cleared, right? Eh? Yeah, we got the double merchants. Oh, fuck. I hate, I hate hitting that button. Right, okay. now it's completely solved the trapper's quest is not done interesting so maybe I gotta go back to his body for something then maybe now the Heatons something we're still missing there Huh. Interesting. And then this is the new quest. Ah, okay, okay. The New Smith Sisters. Hunt the Beast. Leader, Thick Skin. One out of... One out of three... I don't even know what the hell that is. The Beast... Oh, Hints, Hints. Okay. The Beast, zero out of three. Kate, one out of three. Oh, okay, wait a minute here. Huh. But there's no other activity popping up in town. For that case. Hmm. Hmm. No, focus, focus. <laughs> oh. 
I was like, who just grunted? That was really loud. Because this is the... Okay, there's definitely something here. It's still all, like, crazy green. It's so green it just hurt my eyes. Maybe, maybe I gotta talk to him. I know he's angry, but. Good day to you. Yeah. How are things, Mr. Carthy? My old life is a memory long forgotten, I take it. I'll answer no more of your questions, Banisher. And know this, if you ever again set foot in London, the wet boot boys will be looking for you. The wet boot boys. They sound dangerous. <laughs> How are things? You're asking me that? You. The man who killed the only person I had in this godforsaken world. The game's great. Bog off. Why don't you? Okay, well, he doesn't like me, clearly. What's the good word round here? Or the bad, for that matter. What would you like to know? What can you tell me of Kate Newsmith? Yeah, the, game, the game's awesome. I know she's alive. Not like Nelly. I know she'll stand up for us. Not like you. I know that together with her sister, they'll do fine. And the further away you are, the better they'll do. Well... What are your thoughts on thick skin New Smith? Nellie liked her. I didn't, not at first. Nellie showed me different. Nellie showed me different about a lot of things. Tell me about life in the camp, if you would. You've a cheek asking me that. How's life? Life's shit, friend. Thanks for asking. It's all your fault for killing Nellie. I did what I had to. That was me, upon a time. I'd hurt people, rob them, didn't care. I didn't have to do what I did. You didn't have to do what you did. There's beasts enough in the woods without us being beasts in here. I'll take my leap. Maybe something pops up after. Cause... There's definitely something. Like, it... The place is too green. Turn. I'm gonna assume I'm not locked out of the this area. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> the more I know thick skin, the more I like her. Eh? Is you... it her kind and friendly nature? Some would call her ruthless. But is she wrong? Aye, she's wrong. We survive when we care for each other. There's honor in that. Hello, sir. 
Climbed down from your tree then, have you? Aye, with no help from you. What's your name, lad? Beloved Scudder, if you must know it. Oh, that guy! I okay. see you found yourself a gun. Kate gave it to me. I'll check, you know. How about you lower that bridge for me? If Kate gave you her gun, I suppose you may pass. But I don't counsel it. Bad things happen in the woods. Only thick skin walks safely out there. Yeah, why? Why does she walk safely? Thick skin has a lofty reputation. Is it earned? Earned. Without thick skin, we'd be starved and dead. Even her sister knows it, and they hate each other. Do you know Kate well? Well, no one knows Kate Newsmith well. An old heartache sees to that. If your first love ends bad, they say, your heart never mends. Thank you for your time, Scudder. Good day to you. See you again, McCraith. If you're lucky. Climb the bridge as it's going down. Behind Kate the Spitfire stands Kate the broken hearted girl. Hurt people hurt others. Happens every day. Perhaps when this is over, she shall make peace with it. It could happen and it might not happen. Depends on what we're doing. Oh wait, we're banishing people. A target for your new toy. Ooh. Ten guineas says you can't shoot as sweetly as you talk. <laughs> I shoot just fine, thank you very much. You were lucky. I am lucky. I know how to I'm shoot. I'm also a phenomenal marksman. Both of these things are true. Me too, me too. I'm also a ph phenomenal marksman. I just don't like that I have to aim with control, but that's another another thing to complain about later. So, where do we find this beast? Well, not far from the missing settlers, I'll wager. That one is shielded. Now that's fun. <laughs> Something's concealed. Here. I didn't even notice this. I see a camp. Oh. Can we not do that? 
That is quite the landslide. No way in or out. It's like, well, guess who's not going that way? A mine. An old, abandoned mine. How wonderful. And our only way through. Hmm. Lovely. Watch out! Spectre possession! Not today! earlier. Oh, I'm so excited to see him uh, try it out. We're going into the mine. I didn't open it fully. Like, I opened the box just to kind of, like, just take it out. But, like, I didn't, like, fully open the packaging yet. But just from, like, looking at, like, the base package itself, they seem pretty big. That beam is literally hanging by a thread. Twenty guineas says you miss your first shot. See? Easy. Not so easy when the target fights back. We'll do, we'll do. Reinforcements! Possession incoming. They'd get back up. Run, Red. Go. Get lost, won't you? Well, in we go then. stream is done, I'm pretty much going to go do it right away. I love these old underground places. I don't. Huska Castle nearly cost me an eye. <laughs> Investigating the cellar was your idea, remember? I mean, it's not a bad place. <laughs> Mines are totally, you know, not creepy. Oh god, I could just 
just imagine these, this place is gonna be huge. Okay, so there's something shiny over there. Yeah. I feel like they should be perfect for the bed because the bed's not super, super big. So I feel like it should be fine. But I'm definitely gonna do it right after stream is done. Loki didn't realize that a package arrived. Hence the no barking or nothing. So he has no idea. Do you think this place is haunted? I'd almost welcome the distraction. I would say 100% this place. Exactly, exactly. Ah, seems to be stuck. can't move just yet. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, there we go. Oh, shite. I have another in sight. They're putting up a fight then. Think you could take on a ghost? Like, of course I can. Look out! Oh. Get lost, won't you? We can't climb this. Okay. All that for just that? Makes sense. Okay, yeah. so here we need to bring a rope down. Okay, no, I can't go back. Okay, there's gotta be something here that I'm missing then. Oh, 
Oh, okay, I was like, how do I get through this? Okay, we're good. Men chaff and fume, they plead aches and pains in the day, but hours old. The good folk in town call them Saturnine, and I do not think it is a compliment. I, I think they fear. Friends fight friends, men are wounded, some days gravely, mistakes are made. We lose a man each day to accident. If not accident, then I shall inquire no further, and bury him in place. This cannot continue until calamity. I wrote this note by the flickering light of our last land. By error of labor or failure of maternal, or perhaps by both, the mine is sealed and we have no way out. We shall die here, all of us. Let me just place my rope here. Okay, that way I can come back. Okay, so you want me to jump. Okay, then. No, yeah, I can't. I came from there. Okay, let me. Okay. This leads us back to where we emerged. Yeah, I, I... Thank you for telling me. I was just looking around. It's a good thing she's paying attention. Okay, and then that, there's just literally just that. Okay. This could be a good spot to cross. I like the look of this place, though. We need to look for somewhere to cross. I want to know why we're breaking bridges. That's what I want to know. Yes, it looks like there's nothing here. You see anywhere that could help? Oh yeah. That spectre's seen a corpse and it wants it for its own. Eyes peeled. Let me fall, but quite. Do 
you see anywhere that could help? Keep searching here. Oh, and the parkour? Glad it's you throwing me around. Keep it that way. Still in the mines, technically. Uh, the part. Wait. Okay. Ah. Okay, so I'm here. Okay, there's definitely a lot more down here. The mine. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This is the path. No, wait, never mind. What the hell is this? Oh, maybe because we went this way, this automatically just highlights. Strange tracks. Something passed this way. Something huge. Holy shit. Um, can we just not meet whatever that is? Hell, this is grim. Yeah, can I, um... Wait, I don't... Can I agree this is grim? I'm gonna get my ass kicked, I know it. The hunters became the prey. The bodies are uneaten. They weren't killed for their meat. What did these wolves do to deserve such malice? How angry must you be to wipe out an entire pack of wolves? Very angry. Like, what do we got over here? Over here. Okay. Oh, wrong person. So wait. Chicken nuggets? Oh my god. He'd be so happy. I'm like, yes, please. <laughs> I know where to go. I just want to just take a quick peek. Over here fast. So I think I'm under threat. Back down to hell! It's about to shoot! Yeah, it, it's uh, not the, not the ramp, it's uh, the stairs?
so excited for him to try it out. I lost cash. Ooh, wait, we found something? All went according to plan. I've moved the parcel to the next hideout. Get the rest of the prize from the hills. You've got the map and be quick about it. Bloody monsters are everywhere around the house. We'll meet you nowhere. A waterfall? No, it's... I feel like we've been here. This place. But also... I'm not a hundred percent sure. Loki, stop, I'm thinking. Wait, let me check here. Uh, okay, nothing here. Low enough. So I was kind of hoping that there might have been, um, right, we can't go here yet. Anyway, we don't have that. Oh, wait, it could actually be that spot. There's the house. There's water. Oh, sorry. But I don't see a waterfall. Hmm. Doors blocked on the other side. We need a rope. So there's got to be a way to shoot something here. There it is. Dude, I love this gun. But now... I don't see anything I can shoot to unblock this door just yet. And I honestly thought this was the, the location. Nine meters. So is it above my head? Seven. Here, I found something. It forced its way through here, dug up all the wolves, and plucked them out. If the beast did this, then it must be bloody enormous. If the beast did this, then it must be corporeal. <laughs> Not even the younglings survived. What could have done this? Aww. Vengeance. Vengeance incarnate. Oh, I didn't even killed the wolf puppies! A memory ripples here. Aww. 
Is she totally a werewolf? Whatever butchered the wolves spoke as one with many voices. Many spirits and borrowed flesh. Could it be a scourge? Yes, a scourge. Powerful and very angry. What the bloody hell? Closer than I would have liked. That howl, like many souls screaming as one. Right. Poor little baby wolves. Oh, well, I appreciate them breaking the door for me. I thought scourges were rare. Have you ever faced one? Once, a trade ship into Bordeaux sank in a storm. The slaves came back as a scourge. To banish it, I made 50 pounds of bane powder and shot it with a cannon. By then, it had killed the captain and half the crew and the ship's owner. Tragic, really. I mean... Scourges... I'm not exactly, you know, the nicest of creatures, that's for sure. Aha! 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 Yes! There we go! Think you could take on a ghost? Watch out. Spectre possession. I'm trying to click a button here. That bastard. To me. We got it, we got it. We're fine, everything's good. If I can, you know, just stop running into a wall and just open the door. We're going this way. If 
fancy that? A body. And there are teeth marks. He's not letting being dead get in his way, is he? Nikolai, it's play. about to shoot. Try another one. Watch out. Spectre position. Can I join in too? Safer, you must take it. Why won't you come with us then? The quickest you'll go ahead. We'll wait with food and shelter ready, then we'll all travel on together. Nicholas here shall walk with you. There'd be no better shot among us. Do you agree, Doolan? I'll do my best for you, Samuel. Of course I will. But if Thick Skin says we'll be safe, I believe it. In the wild, we carry these. Whistle for help if the need be great. Okay. Someone is generous with her whistles. Much use they were to this poor bugger. If this Doolin fellow was meant to protect the missing group, I dread to think what became of them. Okay, we already read the book. Ah. I am lost. I do not appreciate the feeling. Thick skin ought to be here, but she is not. Perhaps we have taken the wrong road and we are on the devil's path to the dark interior. Out beyond the frontier. But I do not think so. My instinct says we are close to the meeting point. Very close. But the wolves are closer and I must rest. It was wise to split the group. The larger the band, the slower it moves. Roaming the highlands, we'd never let the English divide us. These are civilians. They cannot always carry their own weight. Aye, that much is clear. I mean, that is true, but... A journey like... A journey like that, y'all need to carry your own. I'm so happy that they added sound to it. It makes it so much easier to like find them now that you have the gun when you're in the area. Holy crap. Oh, finally, okay, we're near a camp because I was gonna say, dude, there's literally no camps in this area. Someone was here, some time ago. Take heart indeed. Maybe they're still out there somewhere. Maybe. Take heart, the camp lies close. Northwest, we await you there. Kate.
Boy, okay. Smith, you primed me right, you said, right, Catherine, that what vexes you be removed, but the hand that pushed the thorn into my heart cannot be the hand that plucks it. You are seven years dead, and the thorn still pricks my heart, a thorn put there by my own end when I let you die. You loved me, I know it, for sure and good. I thought I loved you too, but I was wrong. For love is grace and bravery, and I had neither. It was wrong of you to love me when I merit only scorn. I am a coward, I am a weakling, I am a fool. I am a woman of no metal. You, Deborah, were a woman of the highest courage. The second group won't come, and this diary is a hollow song to the hopes of a fool. I can dally no longer, I'll write no more, and the thorn is not removed. This cave was my shelter for a time, and now let it be a graveyard of my feelings to the fire with it all. It says here that Kate loved a woman named Deborah. Oh! Let her die. Younger New Smith has a low opinion of herself. She'd have to keep her love well hidden. Makes sense, definitely. <clears throat> okay, now, ouch. And, yeah, we have no new essence powers yet, so I'm gonna wait. Uh, my gun. Rifle weak spot hits damage is increased by 20. Okay, let's increase this a little inky cap green hellebore Meyer marshes Meyer marshes I take it I haven't been to the Meyer marshes then yet and then you <sighs> wait how do I get these again oh yeah bought from witches okay you know what I'm just gonna Increase my armor. Right, we don't need to sleep because technically my um, powers are still full. And then let me just save. And haunting cases. Okay, so we've got Kate's intent. Do you wish to go back? Home? We go where our work takes us. That's our home now. Another Bible. This almost looks like home. I'm so. My parents' house stood near the sugar mills. Before the fire took it, would they even know me? Would I know them? We could go back, you know. After this, we could go to Cuba together. First, let's face what lurks in the forest. Aye. Okay, we got one path there.
I'm going to continue down this path here. What is lurking here? Time to work, Banisher. Hmm? Oh, I was like, what? this place. It's kind of pretty. Boom. Possession incoming. Now would be a good time to speak a few words of power, just to be sure. Of course. Summoning time. My voice time. commands you! Unveil! Tenacious Huntsman. Oh. Sharp enough. Oh, shit, wrong one. Change tack. Almost there. <sighs> Divert your focus. The veil shields this one. <sighs> Blasted pest. Oh. I join in too? Yeah. Okay, and then here. Oh, 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 I found something. I gotta like look into the trees for like shiny objects now. Okay, so here I need a rope. So this is later. Now let me just. Yeah, so there should be nothing else here except for just that for now. Yeah, we 
got the... I see blood. It looks like overall, though, I think we found what we needed here. Right, so entrance to something that we can't go eat. Interesting. There's no other... Oh, right, right, unless this way loops me down there later. Okay. We are good. Track the beast. Sorry, I'm like, I'm totally lost here. There we go. I was like, how do I get down here? Oy. Right, 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 right. My bad, my bad. This way. Something. More witches stones. So I'm wondering the witches stones is probably the currency that we use on the witches to buy stuff. Never mind. I'll do this myself. You're done. There was essence tied to the altar. I've consumed it all. That's great, I suppose. Are you alright? Yes. I feel invigorated. So weird. Okay, it's another collectible there. <clears throat> oh. Now, both 
Oh okay, yeah, both paths lead, lead to me here anyway. Fabric is familiar. Doolan had straps a bit amongst his effects. Marking the way to the camp, no doubt. Is it under the bridge? It's definitely here. Oh, I see it. Wait, what is souls? What is, what are soul shards for again? Is it for my, my ring? Train hellbore scorch discretion, leather ethereal, void splinter for. Um, no, not my ring. Oh, if I had fur, I'd be able to do this one. Wait, I don't have this one yet, though. I have all the items I need for this. Okay. Mm. Ah, here. An E... And then even white gem fragment from which emanates a fearful dark aura can be obtained by shooting at soul grabbers or bought from witches. Oh. Okay, so I don't really know what it's for yet. Oh. Okay. I just don't know if I'm gonna get my ass kicked here. Wolf Den. Okay, so we're heading. Okay, so I'm thinking. So, center area is where the thing is. So, if I go this way, go this way, I might be able to detour to the Wolf Den. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Okay, we definitely gotta... Aha! I see you! This isn't over yet. You're within gun range, Red. I'm good, don't worry. Yeah. Oi, 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 oi. Okay. So I came from here. I can't go here yet. I don't have a access. I don't have an access. Wait. Oh, that's for our jumping. Is that, is that why you're glowing? Wait. That has to be why you're glowing. I got nothing over here. Okay, that's to go there. Okay, wait one minute here. Of course the bridge is out. Couldn't they have a working oh. bridge now, could we? 
stop complaining. So her thread is pointing me that way. We need to look for somewhere to cross. I know, don't worry. What do you think I'm doing? This is what I need, but wait. I'm on the other side. Okay, now. I definitely do not see a waterfall here. So this can't be, hello. This can't be the outlaw chest location. Yeah, because there's no waterfall here. Oh, we're back. Well, what are you complaining about now? All glowy and shit. Here? gonna bring me across there okay wait a minute okay okay this is where I was now what the hell wait okay here there's the water that just loops me this way was there not no okay okay there's literally Nothing here. I just gotta get that spot positioned right. I think a way to pass could be near. Here, eh? That's almost it. So we're across. Hello? <clears throat> mm. Look, we're getting closer. Okay, we found Sultan. I hear you. Oh, wrong person. Stop it, please. Loki. Loki. Stop. You can have the present after. Um. Okay, 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 okay. We put a rope here. Okay, good. Now, have I been here? I need to check this before I actually jump down. Oh, will you stop doing that? Oh, right. No? Loki. Oh, right, right. 
right, so I have the shortcut now. Yes, okay, perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, let's head back this way. Low key. Stop. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, shit. I have another in sight. Something's nearby. Where is it? It's locked. There must be a key. There's something... Something there, obviously. Perhaps the trail leads to the second group. For good or for ill, it must. Ah, there's the key, there's the key. Okay, okay. I literally just clicked in. I'm like looking at it going... Ah, okay, okay, okay. That's the key. Oh. Oof. Have a good sleep. Rifle damage is increased up to 50% at long range. Oh, I just honestly, I just realized my outfit changes. Oh, this is hard. I actually, I like the look of that one. But obviously, this one is still my better one. Here, vitality. Shit. But okay, we're gonna keep what we have since our shit is still technically better. Okay, so we came from there, we checked there. We gotta go this way now. Red. What? The lost settlers, or what the beast has left of them. God. They didn't stand a chance. There is no God here. And this path here? Where do you take me? This will just loops me back, back the same way, right? Let me just check before we... Oh, 
Okay, okay. Oh. Okay, wait a minute. So. Ah. Give me the rope. Okay, there we go, there we go. Shortcut, shortcut. Perfect. Okay, now let's just head back. This place is creepy as hell. We left New Eden yesterday. Apparently we're going to set up a new camp in the woods or something like that. I was fine in New Eden Town. I hate walking in these woods. I'm cold, hungry, and tired. My bag is heavy and mother doesn't want to carry it for me. Even for just a little while. She thinks that this camp is a chance for us and that I should stop complaining. She thinks I could become a trapper or a hunter. Bring some meat over for dinner. I never asked Lee. No one asked me. No one ever asked me anything anyways. Those poor people. They've done nothing wrong. Even with a sharpshooter, their expedition was a gamble. Voices straining for release. The sound comes from those spectral webs. I feel a draft. From the invisible. My dear brother, I hope this letter finds you. We too had to li finally leave New Eden Town. We split into two groups, the first being led by the New Smith sisters, the second by Nicholas Doolin. The heroes who saved our children from the curse, may God bless them both. We followed Doolin, and our expedition started well enough until the rain befell us. We have been walking for two days under light rain, and it feels like the air is getting heavier, especially with my weak heart. The doctor would scold me if he could see me now. I fear thunderstorms. The wind has picked up, and the sky, already darkened by the trees, has become indiscernible. And if, as if that isn't enough, one of our comrades got hurt. She slipped on a root and twisted her ankle. As a result, I carry her bag while another carries her. I hope we get to where we are going soon. Okay, so one, two. Something's nearby. Where is it? I know, I'm standing right on it. I'm just thinking. Now, one second here. I'll find a way around. Right, okay, we can't open that yet. Okay, well, let's. Something's concealed. Let's free them. Ugh. I could eat an ox. We just broke bread, Emily. A crust of bread and rancid cheese makes not a meal, dear sister. Ho! Oh, Samuel! When's our next stop? Quit griping and push your cart along. We'll get there when we get there. A ripple from the second group. Let's hear what they have to say. I feel a draft. From the invisible. Okay. And here I thought our love would always be. My dearest dear, how much you've wounded me. I hate you. Oh no! Everything was against them. Even without the heavy weather, the wolves would have got them. Is it just me or...? I felt it too. Okay, there's one more here. Please, stop! 
Do you not like a tune? I liked it when you started it. With mud and rain and overuse, the liking has worn thin. Did you hear a growl? Probably your stomach, love. <laughs> At least they died together. Over here, Where? something pulses. I like how she's like, oh, oh, okay. I was like, where are you? Okay, wait. Silver mother's mirror, calm family portrait, Bible jacket, blankets, shoes, socks, clothing. Thickskin gave to the second expedition, similar to the one given to Red. Iris. Your father is hurt and can walk no further. We must rest and treat the wounded. We must find shelter. The cold night will kill us all. Fire will bring the wolves. And so does that accursed whistle. The wolves are already here! Where is Nicholas with the help from Thickskin's camp? Where's our deliverance? We'll sound the call once more. Thickskin will come! She swore on it! The whistles only bring the wolves upon us! Ah. Help will come! Help will come, I know it! upon our souls. The Huntress has killed us. Right in hell! Thick skin, New Smith! Right in hell! Jeez! Oh. I got some angry spirits coming. Back up. Watch out. Spectre possession. This isn't working. You're done. This is Thick Skin's doing. These people were defenseless. She lied to keep them safe. She gambled. She gambled. They lost. She let with her head, not her heart. I won't condemn her for that. No, 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 no. That's not how it went. Not at all. <laughs> Something's here. Hidden.
<sighs> I'm sorry. Hi. Me too. Okay, so let's go activate this shelter. Red, come see this. Oh. Piss off. Oh, there's still more. I... Sorry. Watch out. Yes. Something's here. Silence and the campfire. Just what Doctor Duarte ordered. Okay. The children sleep. We fear the silence of the house when the children will be gone. The governor Haskell, in his wisdom, will send the young boy away to safety with friends and family in Boston, Concord, Charlestown, elsewhere. While we chase the devil back to the wilderness. Thick skin the hunters shall take them. When Nicholas Duman, who assures us all will be well, we grant them our confidence, but also we weep. The house is silent. My husband has taken to the king's arms again. The little beds are empty. The children sleep outdoors tonight on the way to salvation. Thick skin and Nicholas are watching over them. The first night I slept and dreamed of wolves and bears and wars. The children were screaming and I woke up in terror and I could not sleep again. The second night I did not sleep at all. Tonight I must sleep. God guard my dreams. I dreamed of hell, of Peter and Mary dead in the mud, tortured and torn, of ghosts and devils. When I woke, I heard my husband weeping. But then came the shouts. Thickskin is returned. We ran and joined the congregation and heard Thickskin and Doolin. He smiled. He smiling, bring the gladness of the news. The children are safe. God bless them. For though our house is quiet, our children are safe. Yeah, do you trust it? The Bible. Now, where am I here? Oh, the Beast Slayer's all the way over there. Okay, are we getting closer to the end of it? The Beast has two more hints. Okay. Um... Loki, stop. Uh. The second group died terrible deaths, but the scourge did not kill them. And yet there must be a connection. Why would hungry wolves leave fresh meat uneaten? Those claw marks are smaller than the ones we saw earlier. The tracks start with the expedition and grow in size as they progress. The surrounding trees have been drawn in by a powerful force. The beast made itself from the specters of the dead settlers. Here's where it happened. There were more than a few settlers. 
this scourge is going to be huge. Damn thick skin. Our gifts just don't stop giving. Dickie, I'm so happy for this. Are you ready for the ritual? No. no. Well, let's do it anyway. This place is creepy. I'm not ready. What are we doing? Wait, are we summoning a scourge? That's what we're doing? Oh, shit. Okay, wait. Oh, we're legit summoning a scourge. Oh, God. Um, so, boss fight. So cucked. Oh god, it's so eerie. Come out, wherever you are. Come on, show yourself. Red. It's behind me, isn't it? Oh no. Yes. Of course it is. Every bloody time. Surely too big to be a wolf. It's a scourge, all right. Anger shaped to kill. We wish you no harm. We know all about the wolf whistles. The whistle stick skin gave you. Oh, shit! I guess he wants to fight. You'll get it next time. Why 
I will just go down. Because he's ah! I spin too much. Boy. A name that's betrayer. Not thick skin. Kate. It spoke her name with just one voice. Her voice. The voice of the nightmare. You're certain? To the core of me. Within this creature lurks some part of my killer. <laughs> Skin and Kate both accused. Is anyone in these damn woods innocent? Then it were real. This beast. How did I miss you on my travels through the woods? Because it did not want you. It wants your sister. Stay, Scotchman. I can use you. You gave them dog whistles. You sent them to die. Those with metal would have reached camp, and I'd have used them too. Those who died won't need feeding. The weak die that the strong may live. You tricked them. I tested them. This be the way of it. This be the way of the world. We have a hidden watcher. The sister. Kate's here. Kate? Show yourself. What? You're unarmed! 
Get yourself back to camp! All these long years... All these long years, I wish to be like you. To be as tough as you. If I was stalwart like my sister, I thought, I'd have saved her. I'd have saved the woman I love. I wish to be like you. And I see it now. I was just like you. Cold, selfish, afeard of my own heart. And the woman I love died for it. So many dead. You killed them as I killed Deborah. Look at us. We have no metal at all. Everything I did, I did so that you could live. You're my sister. I love you. Would you love me if I was weak? Or would you leave me too to the wolves? Oh boy. How dare you even think it? Oh. <gasps> Whoa! I dare because I care. Enough! I've done your hot work. I banished the monster you swore didn't exist, and now I know the truth. I know what you did. I made the hard choice. Do you think it pleased me? Do you think it were right. easy? You bet you abandoned them for convenience. Would saving them have been so much harder? You abandoned them because it was the easy thing to do. Easy? Look about you. Nothing here is easy, not even for the strong. The weak have no chance at all. No. It's best they die quick that the rest may live. Them wolves did us all a service. Better some dead by fang than all dead by famine. That makes a grim kind of sense. Hmm. The beast spoke with many voices. One we, I, had heard before. The voice from the chapel. And Taya's killer. It charged you, Kate, with betrayal. Mind thy own damn business, banisher. And I'll mind mine. This thing can have naught to do with me. She's telling the truth, but so was the beast. It named her for a reason. Your journal did not fully burn. <clears throat> you read it. How dare you! You loved a woman. She died. You still carry the guilt. Is this why you tried to leave New Eden? You came to New Eden with the woman you loved. She died. You're still here, aren't you? She's afraid. She fears a reckoning. Let's give her one. You're both guilty. Look about you. You brought this curse upon yourselves. Falls to me to lift it. The older sister's heart is withered. She'll never feel remorse. Let her pay. She's hard as stone, too far gone. Mumble all you want, I regret nothing. The curse struck, and I alone saw the danger. I acted. And now it is I who must act. Sacrifice the innocent to ensure your own survival. Or can't he let you away with it? To heal, Kate must be free of her sister's grip. You mean to kill me? Then you're just like me, only more foolish. You mean to kill her? I mean to save her. A malignant spirit lives in thick skin, New Smith. And I will banish it. I have no evil spirit. I've done nothing wrong. Oh. 
demon. Sprite. Evil spirit. I banish you. Great tormentor. I banish you. Life to the living. Death to the dead. became the pitiless thorn. But I did not make the world. It made me. That went well, yeah. Red. Look. The curse has lifted. Here, at least. I hope she'll be all right. And you? Are you all right? It's a while now since I've been all right. I'm determined. I'll have to do. I think, do I look like I'm all right? Quickly. Rory, thank you. I said I'd do the necessary. I'd do it gladly. <gasps> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Imagine if I died here. All because of that. It's like, oh, shit, wait. Okay. Okay, so journey on. We'll have to go that path there. Okay, okay, okay. Now, really quickly. I almost forgot where we were. Okay, so it doesn't look like anything's changed here. We'll have to go back to the Hunter's Camp and see if anything changed. But we'll do that um, tomorrow. Okay, so what we're going to have to do tomorrow first, before proceeding here, we're going to run back this way, go here, and then teleport to the camp here just to kind of see if there's anything different, and then go here and then continue. Now, it didn't look, we, we didn't get any new powers from that. Yeah, and here it's not saying salt. So there's definitely still something going on here, too. Definitely. Sounds good. Have a good one.